Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games tonight. Because we've got some awesome games, two premieres, Excellent. Well, exclusives. Yes. Because they're kind of follow-ups. Mm. Welcome everybody to the show. Um, so, we're broadcasting at 60 frames a second. So make sure you are watching at 60 frames a second if you're watching on YouTube or you're missing half the show because the 2600 is a 60 frames per second machine. Machine, yes. Mm -hmm. So we've got four games tonight. Like I said, two exclusives. Uh, Unholy, which is a game Excellent. from Brazil yes. that we haven't played in a while. No. And this is the exclusive final release of it. So this version is going to go on cartridge. Excellent. And uh, we have the exclusive of it, so I'm very, very excited. And we do have a Pixel here, who's mm -hmm. behaving for now. Um, and that game is by Leonardo Santiago, who yes. I think I saw in the chat. I think so, yes. We also have a Roach in Space 2, Cosmic Excellent. Boogaloo. Nice. On the 7800. That's by uh, Vladimir Zuniga, VHZC. We also have an exclusive uh, update of Don't Go, which we have not played before, but we'll be playing tonight, by uh, Vit Oko, uh, Victor Parada. And we'll be uh, checking in on Shattered Earth, an update on Shattered Earth, which is, um, I think, did you play that one? It's a black and white game. You're a spaceship mm -hmm. collecting little guys through various static screens. You, if you see it, you'll recognize it. It's yeah, very, yeah. very stylish. Okay, very yes. cool. And that's by uh, Kiryu Jimbo. And I want to uh, welcome everybody to the show and all the uh, Twitch subscribers, who is down the side there, beside Tanya. Al Nefer, Arms Car Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalogs, Charles and Check, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan, ABC Drexel, Glenn Main, Ground Trooper, Ojo Rapper 2600, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Mark Space, Inc, MCP90, Metal Atari 1969, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, Kohog2600, RC7E, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, SmittyB7800, Socrates0603, Estramares2008, The DTran37, Welshman89, Thunkus, Tiki Danke, Tifos, and Trek MD, mm -hmm. and The DTran37. Mm -hmm. Just subscribed. And a whole bunch of people Excellent. subscribed last show. Yeah. Because we were off the air. And then ev for a month. everything lapsed, of and course. Everybody yeah. forgot yeah. to renew because, well, we were off the sh we are off the air. You don't need to subscribe if we're off mm. the air because mm -hmm. that's just not fair at all. Mm -hmm. but now that we're back, um, if you don't see your name and your name was there, you can subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Just link it to your Twitch Prime and click yeah. subscribe. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, little service provided by Amazon and Twitch. Um, and make sure you follow, subscribe, and click like on all the things, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you know all the awesome things that are coming up on the show, of which we have a lot. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank everybody that has tuned in tonight live on Twitch, because we do broadcast live. The D-Train 37, Flackets, Nathan Strom, Metal Atari 1969, Estramares 2008, uh, uh, Kev Kelly, Kev Kelly Dan ABC, Al Nefer, Captain Classic, Packrat VG, Flackets, RC Seven E, uh, Armscar Coder. Uh, I know uh, there's more. There, Leo Santi, Leo C Santi, Santi. Dedicated Lurking Nine to Five, <laughs> not so lurky. A Eight Dog Dark who is from Chile, they nice. said. Very nice. I expect a lot of South Americans today. Excellent. Because we've got a Brazilian game. They yeah. usually come out in droves when we have those. Um, I spy my name. Um, <laughs> excellent. Um, we had a little bit of problem with the chat before the show, but uh, I got it working now. Yeah, it was very the strange. It just the... disappeared. And then I... The, and then, and then... the problem was I, I changed the background. It was a black background color yeah i changed it to red and changed it back to black and then click save up. and it worked yeah and Crazy. then on top of that yeah. the cat cam disappeared all of a sudden and then you had yeah. to fix that which yeah. no one no none of you could see but no. you were like what is going on everything was getting all yeah. re so you redone can see the cat cam so it's there now right but there. it had disappeared as well so yeah. something funny weird happened. things so we had to delay for five yeah. minutes not anyway, a big deal nothing, hey nothing metal huge. lunar seven and yeah. f cap Catrin? Catrin. That's yes. a cat in the name. Yeah. Sound so. is off. Off? 
Oh, like as in not synced. I went through great pains before the show to make sure it is sync. Off. It looks okay. You're off. <laughs> You're off. Uh, did, did it clap? Fine. Does that work? Happy times? Yep. Yeah. Hopefully. Slightly delayed. Well, you're the one who says it's off, but other people saying it's not. Anybody else saying it's okay? We'll wait for that. Um, so we have a poll question. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have your Atari 2600 slash 7800 modded? Mm. I'm surprised I haven't asked this one. Before. No, I'm surprised you haven't either. Um, so let's start the poll. Well, and they have no problems in Chile. So it's off a little bit. Slight delay for me, too. Oh, my <laughs> God. Everyone's got some... Some. I'm going to refresh the screen. That's not yeah. going to help if everybody's off. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, I have VH, let's see. The problem is, I can't tell if I need to put it forward or backward. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe just maybe it'll settle out. Um, it's not the upload, is it? It won't settle it? out. It won't, it won't fix no? itself. Yeah. Um, so, number one... RGB component mod. Mmm. That cat is bugging me. Um, number two, if you have an S-Video mod. Yeah. Which is plenty fine. Or number three, composite mod. Easy hookup to the TV. Or number four, unmodded. RF was good enough in the 70s. It's good enough <laughs> it's now. It's good enough now. <laughs> <laughs> no 20 frames delay. Wow. Oh, very nice. No, still see a little. Oh. Which way? <laughs> Because if I add 20 frames, yeah, it's going to be 40 frames off. If I subtract uh, 20 frames, it'll be perfect. Or the other way around. Oh, weird. 2, 3, and 4. Mm. Uh, multiple systems. RF all the way. The sync is good for me. Oh, mm. this is very strange then. Is it? Really? Sound before the visual. Thank you. Excellent. Somebody's on it. <laughs> now I can fix that. Sound before the visual. So that means the sound needs to be delayed. Uh, how about that? Not out of sync for me. Don't change it. <laughs> okay, I've changed it. How's that? Magical? Still good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Worse, as Ramirez says. It's good. Still good. Worse. It's fine. Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice variety of things. That doesn't make any sense. Mm. I'm going to change it back close enough. Okay. Whatever. It's going to drive me crazy after the show, though, and I'm going to have to resync the show. I don't know. Do you Sync want me to ru run upstairs? And on and off tonight. Why is James clapping? Yeah. <laughs> um, do you want me to run upstairs and check it on my phone? I can check it here. Okay. Um, is it going to do some crazy feedback loop? No, because people aren't going to see this. Well, they'll hear it a little bit, but it won't be... I won't turn it up too loud. Uh, can you oh, watch your own when you're streaming? Yep. No, 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 cat. No, no, no. Yes, okay. clapping out of joy of playing homebrew soon. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Once uh, we get the sound the thing brew. started out. Yeah. So, I've got it up. Oh, it's perfect. This is perfect, you naysayers. Look at that. It's perfect, you naysayers. It's perfect, you naysayers. It's perfect, you naysayers. There we go. Be That's me with. saying. <laughs> it's me confirming that it's perfect. It is a feedback loop. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that silliness. I told you it was fine. So anybody who's having problems, please just restart. As James your says, it's your fault. You deal with it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I checked it before the show. It's still good. I only changed it a tiny bit. You're gonna have to turn that. Into a ringtone. <laughs> what did I say? It's perfect. You deal with it. <laughs> That it's works. perfect, you naysayers. Exactly. It's perfect, you naysayers. <laughs> Put it on a T-shirt. Yes, that's right. It's that's perfect, right. you naysayers. Zero page homebrew. <laughs> it's your problem. You deal with it. <laughs> um, so remember, before we went to the break, 
uh, month break, I showed the bottom of my feet to the stream. I don't know why. Oh, because oh. the cat attacked me. Oh, is it the cat? No. Didn't you injure your foot or something? No, no, no. The cat scratched my foot, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. And you put your foot up to the... I put up this foot up. And some somebody on YouTube uh, left a comment in Asia, deeply offended. The horror. Oh, no, because I said, <laughs> oh, you've offended a bunch of people in Asia. <laughs> yes. And somebody in Asia was offended. Were they actually offended? No. No, no, just by the way sarcasm. they said it. Yeah. In Asia, deeply offended. The horror. horror. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you may have a promising career in tech support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, my tech support days are over. Long behind yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, I do my own tech support, yeah. so. Have you, have you, have you, um, turned it off and on? <laughs> Ed fixes 90% of the problems. I love the IT crowd. I really oh, wish that show was still on the air. It's, it's so because funny. it's accurate and all the geeks go, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's so true. Yeah. Um, so I looked it up. It says in Singapore, and as in many Asia countries, the foot is thought to be unclean mm -hmm. and should not be used to point at somebody. Mm -hmm. Who points at people with their foot? Obviously not in Asia, but <laughs> other places. We don't point at people with their our feet in North America. That's very strange. I it's well you say it must that must be somewhere. But I have memories of lying on the floor watching a, a TV and like using my foot to point at the screen. So. <laughs> Instead of your fingers, <laughs> lying on the floor and yeah. like pointing up at the like screen. Foot. Also, possibly turning the dial on the channel. Oh yeah. With my foot as well. I don't think the foot anyway. is thought to be clean in <laughs> any country because no, you, it's not clean. <laughs> you walk, you walk on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're in. They're you either are barefoot and yeah. you're filthy. Or they're in a shoe, sweaty all day. Yeah. That's it. Unless you're going and bathing your feet all day long. Yeah, exactly. Um, the bottom of your feet should never be shown. This is common in a number of countries, including yes. India and China. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing a tour of the broadcasting equipment later. Oh, oh, cool. Now that we have a very nice webcam. Yeah, that webcam is really nice. Um, really nice. The cat cam. And yep. and you can see the new carpeting, see? which I was told you didn't actually there introduce with Darcy. Look at that carpeting. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's plush and squishy. Yep. The cats really like it. It's supposedly <laughs> coated with um, some anti... Throw up. Cat. <laughs> Anti throw up uh, spray. Chemical that'll probably kill us in 10 years. But yeah. um, yes, it is a very nice carpet. Yeah, it's pixel carpet. See, yeah. it's got little it's crust. It's got little, it's almost Mondrian in, a, in yeah. little square shapes. It's a little hard to see, but. Uh, so that's yeah. the nice webcam. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go through a tour. I'm going to quickly go through the my equipment because yeah. it's all very clean now. You yeah. can see the. Nathan's drawn there are a few white so. specks on it. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Um, Needs vacuuming. Oh, on the webcam. On the webcam. There is a white, white spec. Uh, that is actual white. There you go. <laughs> it's a white spec. So it was on the carpet, not on the webcam. Yeah. It's so good. It's not a, a. That shows how good it is, right? Yeah. Burn, yep. burn pixel or anything like that. <laughs> no. It's uh, not. Okay. Is it the <gasps> is it the camera or is it the carpet? Yeah. I'd <laughs> it's the most expensive webcam you can buy yes but i have a feeling the carpet was more expensive yeah. <laughs> so, true it's um, an hdr yeah 4k webcam it's the only hdr 4k webcam in the world right now right now yeah hmm. and i thought yeah i'm gonna get it because i've been we've been doing so many video conferencing mm. and for various things you do it for exercise i do it for business yeah and i thought why not do it for you know uh, video conferencing and for the show yeah and it's just gorgeous yeah so yeah. carpet and cats is a combo that doesn't work for me yeah generally it doesn't no um no it's bad <laughs> but it, yeah and they tore up the last carpet because it had loops yeah it was they loved um, the loops so they're just, installed by the previous owner of our yeah. place and uh it was wool it and was they wool loved it and, and they they're... scratched it and so yeah. this should be a little bit more cat friendly but um, um, so I've started a thread in the Zero Page Homebrew Club uh, in the Atari Age forums that you can post your questions for the upcoming John Shampoo slash Champ Games uh, developer spotlight. Mm -hmm. So if you start thinking about questions for that, I'm going to post the link in the uh, chat here. So you can go there whenever you like and join up to the club if you like. Not much going on there at the moment. I did post about... I do have a thread going there about um, hard, like technical issues that I deal with on the show. So there you go. You can you can do that. 
and post questions for John Champo. That's mm -hmm. happening on November 27th, so in about a month. So lots of time to think November. of November. Oh, okay. I was thinking yeah, yeah, October. Yeah. I'm like, that That would be next week. But no, when my cats start that heaving noise, I chase them onto the tile. Yeah, that's what you try to do too. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. A anywhere but carpet or rug. Yeah. But the thing is, they love throwing up on the carpet. I don't I think know they, why. <laughs> they, they feel comfortable on it. I don't know why. Going, They'll uh, run to a carpeted service yeah. to throw up on. So Ugh, Terrible. Uh, anyway. Um, so we're going to get to the first <laughs> game, which is Unholy. Um, we're very happy to have this exclusive final release of it. Mm. Uh, this build is from October 17th, 2020. Mm. So thank you, Leonardo Santiago. And we've got some instructions here. And I am going to pass you the controller. Excellent. Ready. Ready. Excellent. So, switch over to. There we go. Unholy. Ten seventeen. Do not distribute DND. <laughs> secret. Secret binary. So. Beautiful, nice. beautiful um, title screen there. And you can see the lightning flashing, showing mm -hmm. the skull there. Mm. So awesome. Little blood footprints or something along mm. there, little devil's tail. Yeah. Um, very, very um, exorcist-esque with the flashing, the flashing oh, uh, yeah. face that comes up. Yeah. And a very nicely stylized um, title yes. at the top. Yep. Uh, LCS. Leonardo Santiago, middle name C. Don't know. <laughs> um, so this was first posted May 2nd, 2020. Mm. Uh, it's a 32K game. Other games by uh, Leonardo is Egypt Quest and Unholy. And this will be available on cartridge soonish. Mm. Don't know yet, but soonish. Um, we last played this on July 7th, 2020. Um, so we're going to make a map, actually, um, of this. I don't have anything to write on. <laughs> um because I was something. panicking. I do have a pen. Yay, pen! And we do a paper. And we just need a book. That would work. That, that would qualify as something I to write on. I don't mind destroying. And you don't mind Imprinting. Destroying. Writing onto. Because it's not a small game, but it's not a huge map, mm. I don't think. Where's the book? while I choke. <coughs> you wouldn't think this would be too hard to find. <coughs> there uh, we go. Are you dying in there? Oh, I just went down the wrong way. Yeah, you're supposed to swallow it. I'll breathe <coughs> it. Um, so this is kind of a perfect game for October. Yes. Coming close very, to Halloween. Uh, very Halloween themed. Um, oh, and VHZC is designing the box for the game. Very cool. Yes. Um, and he does amazing artwork. His box art is so good. Yeah. Because he makes his own box art, art for his own games. Nice. VHZC, who's, whose game we're going to be playing a little bit later. Next, Excellent. actually. Excellent. Um, so, unholy. Got the instructions here. Or actually, the story here. So, you... I don't know if you want to start and... Maybe you can draw the map because after you kill the enemies in a room, mm -hmm. um, you... Do you just want the, the layout of the room? Just... Uh, Am I starting in the middle? Uh, kind of on the left. Okay. So I would put on the left, left-ish, because okay. it may go past. Maybe a bit, okay. bit more to the right, right around there. Okay. Um, make note of any colored doors. Yep. And um, the color. And any items. So make it big enough you can kind of write... A color okay. in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you need to play. I thought you were playing. Okay. But I was going <laughs> to read out the story. And because after you kill the monsters in the room, yeah, there's no threat. So I, I was... You can play? I'm confused. Actually, you read it out, and I'll play, and you map. How about that? Yes. Because you don't seem to want to play. No, I'm, I'm fine with playing, but I think the reading and the mapping has to go hand in hand. Oh, so, yeah. Unholy. The story. 
It was 1914, the evening of Good Friday, and Isabella Lorraine was throwing a carnival party at her old mansion, disrespecting her parents and the Christian traditions. At close to midnight, an uninvited and handsome man who introduced himself as Daniel Evander von Icarus Lutox, or just D-E-V-I-L, began to seduce the hostess and invited her to dance. Okay. This first room? No, it's the second room because you were reading. Well, so start <laughs> start mapping. Or wait till I finish reading it and then then. Okay. Well, so you've already been through one. Wander room? around. There you go. <laughs> I'll just keep killing guys. Hurry up. <sighs> Read it. Not so Stop far killing. away. Gabriel Sancti, a young monk, was praying at a monastery nearby when he received his first great mission. He would have to enter the unknown mansion with a wooden crucifix and enough faith to bring back the survivors and take Isabella from evil's hands. So the mission is to rescue the four survivors and find Isabella to get her back. Excellent. Excellent. And there's okay. a number of enemies. monsters and enemies. We'll go through those. So this is the first room. Nothing in it. Maybe put start or a star or something. Okay. So there's a, a, a beautiful effect, as VHZC has already said, of the lightning flashing in the windows. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's such a simple thing to do. Um, or is it? How did he do it, actually? Because there's the green, mm -hmm. which is probably playfield. Oh, I see. Yeah, green is playfield. And then the black and the white or the lightning is mm -hmm. the background. Mm. So it just psh, psh, mm. shines through the empty spots in the playfield. Very nice. Yep. I was so, thinking the opposite. It's like, how do you do that? Do you use a player? With all these screens, you can travel left and right, right? Yes, and this one is, you can't... As long as there's no obst obstruction. Yeah, so. so you can't go any further left and right. Okay. And you can't go south, I don't think, or down. It's only left and right and going through doors. Okay. So the next one is orange door, I would say. And it says no. Oh, actually, I should leave. I would just say orange. Or orange door. So this is one more over. Yep, to the right. And the potions are random, so I wouldn't write those down. I believe they're random. Oh my god. Falling down pits doesn't help. Okay, one more over is an open door. And this effect is so amazing. Where the the floor fills with blood. Uh, it's, it's such a great effect. So what we're going to do is just keep going to the right until mm -hmm. we can't go anymore. So can you cross over that blood or no? Uh, yes. No, it hurts you. It doesn't it does. kill you right away, but it hurts you. And there's little appearing and disappearing bridges. Which is a nice little obstacle. So you have to work on timing. Brown door. Uh, open door. It's open? Oh. It's not brown. It's black. Open. And a white key. So just type it right in white key. I think it's white. It's kind of grayish white. So many cool effects. Yeah, there's the lightning strike, and there's a nice. M do, 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 do. What song is that? I think you were able to pick it out last time. We looked it up last time. I think it played with Erlen last time, I, and he was able to pick it out. Moonlight Sonata. Thank you very you much, go. Leo Cisanti. Of course, the developer would know it. So a nothing, and then a nothing. Ah! So we still have four people to rescue. We have zero keys. And then an open door. So the guy with... Ah! The guy with the horns, I've got a little key here, is in the... An ancient knight. Nice. 
Ah, sometimes things pop out. Oh, what? Oh, that's the end. Okay. Okay. So we might as well take this one yeah. because we're near it. Now, I'm not sure if it maps perfectly. Like that door and like three over to the left will be another door. Okay. So. So what, what was, you came in from the top in the next room? Uh, it just joins up to, yeah, let's do a separate um, map because it may not map perfectly. And do like a little arrow or something. Okay. I'm gonna make sure we can go back and it goes to the same room. It yep. does. Okay. So that's not guaranteed. Ah, ah, need yeah. room. Knifey guy. Knifey. Cemeterian. Mm, that's his name. Like a scimitar. Yep. Okay. Ooh, I have low health. Uh, might be helpful to get that. Or it could be another monster. But I'll take the rest. Nope, nothing. Mm. I know in some games it will take into account your health mm. when giving you objects. It's like, oh, you're low in health. You'll have a higher percentage chance mm. of getting health. Okay. And that is like a... What is that scully thing? The Rex. Nope, nothing. Can you so, go there? Nope. No. So it kind of maps nicely that way. So how many across was that? One, nine? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, okay. I like the Castle of Ivania influence in the sprite design. Yes, it is. Oh. And, and he uses the... Uh, oh, that guy's got a spear. He uses the floor to great effect. Oh, yeah. Or pits, actually. Uh, or lack of floor. To, uh, you know, make nice designs. Ah! Ah! No, 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 no! Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh, no. Still have three lives, but I'd rather not use them up. Oh, my God. Did you die? Yes. My feet were just barely touching. Please be... Well, I don't need health anymore. Of course. <laughs> now you get health? Yeah. When I'm full. Do you use it up? Yeah. Yeah, you might as well because. But once you, you use it up, you can't hold on to it no. or anything like that. Okay. It happens. Empty room. Great game for the 2600. Can feel the space on that screen. It's yeah. very wide open. Yeah. He moves fast. Yeah. So it doesn't map out perfectly with the doors. So each door kind of goes to its own area. area. This has a door and a orange key. A pink. Orange. Orange. Yeah. So I finally got a key. And that opens the door on the other screen. Because that was an orange door. Was it? Okay. Assuming that's how it works. Yeah. Got a door there? Okay. Yep. Upside down pentagram. I'm guessing that that will hurt you. I'm going to try it out. Yep. Any blood on the floor or whatever it is hurts you. Um, and a little bridge. non-collapsing bridge, which is nice. Sometimes, yeah. Next room. Ah. This might be the end. It might be. Might have to backtrack. Or it might be longer. Yeah. May not be limited to nine per. Oh, oh one more. No, nope. that's gone further. That's the big door. Mm. Which I'm guessing I don't have a key for, but we'll try it in a second. Actually, we'll keep going. Nope, that's the end. Okay. Nope, can't go in. Which is not surprising. It looks like the end door, right? It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... So you would have to go all the way back. All the way back. Yeah. But you have the orange key now, so you can use this orange door, or there's... Um, another door. Another open door there, too. Okay. He's cool. He's got a he's got a devil's tail. Yeah, I'll give you this. You yeah. can identify. So the devil is spiky. He's spiky. The one with the like the little the spear. The sphere. Yeah, that's spiky. Okay. 
Oh, and that's the devil's eye. Devil's nice. eye. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. And the uh, graphics for the monk are great. Or what is he? Yeah, he's, is he a monk? Yeah, young monk, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. uh, or Gabriel. Gabriel. He's got a cross. He's got a belt. He's got a long robe, a little hat. Mm -hmm. It's like very, very clear. What? Uh, and he's got see I'm assuming eyes. that's his monk's hair with a big hole in the back. I don't know. Or is that uh, more? Could be a hat. Uh, like looks a black like hat. Hair. They, don't they have Could that? Could be hair. Yeah. I mean, that might be more traditional from like. Um, I'm sure it's just jelly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I pick up on conversation? Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't. Don't forget to check a for, for, for a piece of ET's phone down there. Oh. <laughs> in the pit? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a tonsure. That's the term. Thank you. Tonsure? Tonsure. Where you have the cutout in the back. Oh, like where they shave the back I of the head. I have never heard but that But it looks word. like a bowl cut. Yes, I agree. <laughs> never heard that word before. Tonsure. Tonsure? Yeah, tonsure. I've heard the word, but I mean, uh, it's not, not, uh, not, um, not a word that comes up in conversation all that much. <laughs> No. Half vocab will travel. <laughs> <laughs> the enemies. Yeah, the monk looks great. Are interesting. If they were any harder, it would be really difficult. Hmm. Because you have limited areas you can go on some screens, right? Yeah. But they're at the same time they're also easy. Is this the end? Yeah. So you, that's back where you started. They're more like an annoyance, except on this screen. That one's a bit harder. Yeah, uh, dodging them. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Depending, when, uh, actually, I think it's a really good effect to have the um, uh, the pits in the floor yeah. because it does make it more challenging to. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Health! Yay! One that helped. And and this too, because you have to go around it. It is dangerous to go onto the red. So that's the Rex, the one with the the floating neck, skeleton head. Mm. That's spiky again. Spiky. Yay! I'm full. There's the white key. I'll figure that out. Um, so we've got one key. Up, yeah. And we haven't found anybody to rescue yet. No, and there are four. Um, so there is, there was an open door that you had access to, but you didn't go through. Oh, there was a slight. Blip. Wasn't there? Oh, I thought one of them was. One of them should be open. Yeah. So I thought that one was open yep, with the blood that spots. Yeah, should be the next one. Yep. And then the the next one you come across. Oh, where is this? Yeah. This one? one? Oh, you? okay. You just passed that. Gotcha. So I'm gonna go in this first. I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Okay. okay. So that's nothing, but it's some. Pit, oh, it's pit this somewhere. one. Um, it's this one which had the orange key. How am I? S oh, you're allowed to escape through ah, doors. So that actually does that maps up. It maps up. Oh, that one does. Yeah, it does map up. Okay. So if you go two more over, um, then you'll get the orange door, which we should now be able to open. So you're not late. You're not able to. And that's the knight who says me. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you're not able to escape a screen if there's monsters on it, but you're able to escape through a door. If oh, there's monsters. so you can go through the door. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. One. Did I miss a? I missed I one. I think you did. I think I did. You moved too fast. It's this. This one. Because they look the same. That's oh, why. maybe. Okay. So there is ten across. Yeah. Let me just adjust my my map here. Um, that's the orange door. And then there's another one like this. I'm really enjoying the sword enemy. Yeah, it's very cute, little curvy enemy. <laughs> Did the video just lock up, or do I need a new service and provider? Ah, reload fixed it. You need yeah. a new service provider. Because <laughs> our stream is fairly steady. I did have to scale down. There were some issues. The bit earlier, rate. But... Um, because it's definitely not at peak performance. It's at like three megabits per second when it should be at fifteen. So I'm going. So we should be able to go through this door now. Yes. In theory. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. So this so is a different area completely. This is a different area. Let me... Another pit. 
pentagram. I almost called it Instagram. And I keep... I cannot draw an upside down pentagram to save my life. Um, okay. Oh, you good? Yep. Okay. And then a white door, white door, which we should have a key for. Kind of light blue almost, but we'll say it's white. We should get your spike key there. But we don't have a key. We saw the key. We couldn't get the key. No, we got the key. The white. Oh, no, you're right. We didn't get yeah. the white key yet. Yeah. It's white. Got it? Yep. And that's it. And that's the end. That yep. makes sense. That it, maps out? It is mapping out okay. properly. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go back. Uh, can you go to the... <gasps> oh, run away! Okay, this one's a bridge. Oh, the thunder and lightning. Yeah, I was going to comment on that. Um, the, the noise should either come exactly at the same time or after. So that lightning is very close to us. <laughs> because it's at the exact same time as the so it's li it's, it's like literally, literally striking the mansion that you're in right yes. now yes yeah. <laughs> another bridge oh my god I knew it did you die? yeah no one knows yeah no one knows for sure no one knows because I've got one life left and that's it oh no oh no we're going to do a speed run because <laughs> I wasted Wasted lives. Can I start with the button? Oh, is it? Oh, Turn good. the paper over? <laughs> oh, there's room. There's tons of room. Yep. Okay. So, just head to the right. Get the well, orange key. Well, you could... Key. You... Yeah, you, you kind of need to, don't you? All the way to the end. Yeah, right. there's no point in using that door because it doesn't get you anywhere, so... Yeah. Oh! And rage reset. Rage and reset. It begins. <sighs> I won't die this time. <laughs> nice. I was just rushing. Thank you for the rage reset icons. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Rawr! His first um, build of this had very difficult to navigate... Um, um, pits. It yeah, was like I remember it being super quite unfair. Challenging. Yeah. It was like you had to slowly wiggle your way through them. Mm. It was brutal, 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 brutal. So they're much more reasonable now. Mm. I do like all the images in blood, the pentagrams. Oh, beautiful. And like, the... look at that. And and, and the screen with the blood that that pops up. That's a is that's really so cool. Good. Is looks really really good. I, I don't remember any other game that does anything no, like that. No, it's it's the it's very unique and it, it fills right and it's it's danger yep. all of its danger. So oh, that's it. So I need to go yeah, here. Right? You need to go. Yep, yeah, you're at the end there. So that brings you down to um, yeah the blue. Ah. That's an extra life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not sure what it Something. did. Is the, cause it was it is the final one. Someone was asking if this is the final version. This so. is the final version. Yeah, yeah, I love that blood. That's really great. Yeah. He didn't explain what the different potions are. Is yellow an extra life? Is yellow, yellow like full health? I didn't notice what. Uh, if well, I had happened. full health, so. Mm. And I have four lives, so I'm guessing you can't get five lives. Mm. So I'm not sure. Um. Leo Santi. Yeah, he might answer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I should know those. Nice. I have full everything. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point because it doesn't reappear, so. I like that some of the uh, bases are booby trapped. Yes. Yeah, that does add a bit of uh, a surprise element to it. Mm -hmm. There's the key. So there's the orange key. So technically, you don't have to keep going because there's nothing to get beyond it yeah. other than the big door. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, you can, you can leave it at that if you want. Yeah. 
After you rescue everyone. Yep. It's probably the last. Get that Rex. Good job. You do have to hammer the button. Because <laughs> they do come very quickly to you. Holy so oil. Mm. Okay. Well, what does that do? <laughs> <laughs> so go does in here. Purify? There you go. Oh, so you're back God. in green. So I'm, I'm, I'm labeling them based on the wall color. Ah, ah, ah. And then go left, right? Correct. So you're going to go door. left back to the orange door. I think that's the only thing. You probably should get some of the bases. Have you been injured at all? Or? A tiny bit, so I should get some. There you go. Excellent. Yeah. Yellow is full health. Ah. Okay. Full health. So the whole thing. So I guess the blue is partial backwards? health and the yellow is full. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I should get a couple more just in case. No. Bad. It's good those are just a little hard. Like, they only take a couple of shots. Mm. I do like they have... All the bad guys have different difficulty levels. Some move... Like, the ghost moves really fast. Some move a little slower. Mm -hmm. And they take a few more hits, I think. Yeah. Nice. So, I want to go through this door. Um, or the, the orange door. The orange door. Because this goes nowhere. This took... goes nowhere. It just shows you where the key is that you, you just got. Okay. So since we're um, power running through it. Uh... So is that pentagram is deadly? It hurts uh, you? Yeah, anything blood, anything red on the ground is nice. not good to touch. Okay, so this is brown. I'm going to call this brown. Sure. The, the the wall color. It's like a burgundy brown. Oh, so the whole level is brown? Yeah, so the oh. back wall is the same color. So that kind of tells you what corridor you're in, if that so makes sense. So which way do I go? So you want to go right because uh, there's a white door, but you can't go through it. Right. Um, so we, yeah, so we got to here. We got uh, most of your lives. You got the Rex there. So we're moving... Oh, another blood room. I always seem to, oh my god. You go back? Touch the edge. Yeah, it right? happens. Yeah, the colors are really good on the enemies. Mm -hmm. Like there's nice shading on them. Oh yeah, no, they look really good. Especially the, the scimitar enemy oh. where um, oh yeah the floating knife yeah because yeah. it's got a nice brown handle and these are not just pure white they've got some nice um gray shading to them oh and that'll help you um oh this is i can get across this oh you um, can but i'll map mm -hmm. out the whole thing first right Sure. Yep. To the end of the corridor? Yep. Oh, there's a dude. <gasps> there's a guy. So, write that down. Guy. Down. On, on platform. He's He needs help. Good. I'll come back later, dude. I can't reach you. He's panicking. <laughs> he is. He's in he a panic. He is panicking. So that's one of four people. Too. You got that one. You got the last room? This is the last room? No, you did. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Isn't it? Yep. Okay. So we'll go back through that door. Yep. So back across. Because there was a little platform that was disappearing. Ooh. Can you accidentally shoot the guys? Oh, know. let's try not to. <laughs> Somebody else can test that. See, now there. this dude, he has bangs. <laughs> <laughs> compared to the monk. It's right down to his or eyes. It's, or it's a panicked eyebrow. I'm not really sure. <laughs> his eyebrow is merged with the his The one, the forehead. unibrow. Yes. The panicked unibrow. Oh, that was actually close. That was close. Okay, so we're going up. What color? Green. Green. Oh, Ooh, it's oh, it's the white. So this takes you to, where is God it? God damn it. I need a four-way joystick. Ah! Oh my God. 
Excellent. Did you get the key? I did. Okay, that's all you need. Oh, get out of the way. Run away! That's very dangerous, actually, that area. I feel like I'm making a lot of um, Monty Python references <laughs> today! Run away! <laughs> ah. Run away! <laughs> okay, so I've got the white key. I go back to the left. So the Correct. white door... Where was the white door? The white is at the very end of this brown hallway. Okay. So very yeah. left of this brown uh, hallway. Sorry, left. Oh my goodness. It's two ends. <laughs> Grabs white key. You'll never get me, coppers! Jumps into the pit. <laughs> well, that is a true statement. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Need health. Not in this room. Yeah, that one Scully guy. Scully ah. or Cranium? Scully. He moves Team fast. Scully? Scully. Yep. <laughs> Not Mulder and Scully. Oh, Just Scully. there should be a Mulder. There should be a Mulder in there. Need health. Ah, oh, oh. just monsters. Monsters in vases. Monsters in vases. <laughs> and as per every monk's worst nightmare tradition, smash up all the vases in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing, must die. I've been playing more Zelda Breath, Breath of the Wild because I still haven't finished it. And uh, you just break Yay. the vases. The is whole there? game. The whole game is just vase breaking, basically. So, um, it's tradition. It is tradition. And okay. there's your white door. I get that. Oh, not purple. Oh, it's a purple room. New hallway. All right. Very smart to put the colors because it would be challenging to map it out. Yay. More help. So I can't go left? No. This is perfect. Sorry. Are you moving? Yep, to the, to the right. Don't! Oh! It's a flashy key. Get ahead key. of me! It's a flashy key. You've only been through one door, right? It is a black key. You've only been through one door, right? Yep. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Black. And that is... Ugh. Messing up my system here. You're moving too fast. Where are we here? Do, do, do. Okay. Wait. Got it. Not great at mapping, but that's okay. It's a bit of a Well, mess. you didn't you didn't give me And the boxes are getting smaller and smaller. I know, I know. Uh it's that's I can make them bigger. Um I much prefer graph paper for this kind of thing. Just for the record. Oh yeah, but our house is in a bit of a state of disarray. Bit of a state at the moment. Yeah. Oh look, that's what I need. Extra life. Oh, there's a beating heart. Is it beating? No. Oh, it was beating because you were, you were... Throwing, <laughs> throwing things at it. Okay. That's can why. I do a backwards pentagram? Yes. And you put Excellent. a heart there. Extra life. There we go. Woo! Excellent. Need some health. I'm guessing that four lives is a maximum, so that's good. Back to back to full. And cut up, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, a switch. Oh. Well, that's exciting. That's interesting. What You're if either opens... gonna fall into a pit, or something good will happen. Shoot it. There we go. Whoa, this game's bigger than I thought with There's switches. A switch. That may make bridges to get across to things. Oh, maybe, maybe. Right. And maybe it's that. Maybe it does that bridge. Mm -hmm. I'm not willing to go. Or back. or previous previous bridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a door. Got it. Okay. Oh. Well, this bridge is out. Maybe I wrecked this bridge. Not necessarily. Maybe it's like kind of, hey, flip the switch. Well, maybe you have to go through that door. Um, sorry, I, I didn't map the area. Oh. Can you go back to that room? You ran it's... back way too fast. Oh, I have to fight four more demons now. Yes. Bridge is out. But it may not be permanently out. Maybe the big door. Flackett says exactly what I was thinking. Beating heart would be a great effect if you're still wanting to add little things. So there was, so that door might get you to the dude. 
if you're lucky. Uh. The one in the, oh. the room, the, that that one, yeah. possibly. So maybe. We'll see what color Maybe the switch switches this one and the other one. Who knows? Well, I'm gonna go here first. Yeah, you should. That's okay. So let's see. Yeah, I was right. Goes to the brown. Ah. Goes to the dude. Help. I'm gonna get hurt. I one might have either. lost a room here. One, two, three, oh, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's a good way to spam. Maybe. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh. So, everybody out there, if you want <laughs> to get a potion, the yellow potion, just find a door and go blip, 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 to get a potion. Forth. Oh, until one, one, ma one manifests? Yep. I might have lost a room there somewhere. You might have gone too fast. Do you want Everything to go else again? is pretty much. No, it's okay. It's not the end because it. I no, have to it's throw not the, the end, but but I do feel like uh, this this, the room? Sh this should line up and it's not. So I think they might, oh. might have rushed through and passed a room and I didn't. Catch I blame it. you. I uh, no, no. <laughs> so let's throw the switch. Yeah. See if it builds that bridge. Photographers get no respect. <laughs> <laughs> you're just running through rooms i'm like yeah. hold on i haven't mapped this yet it's the switch for the bridge so i don't know if you want to make a note switch for bridge two to the right for this one put below the switch well it switches so wait, did this one switch away the door <sighs> you didn't even I don't check think so i have to fight all these oh, no yes it did it did no 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 you can keep going i can't oh I you to, can't i have to fight these guys yeah that's, so that's it flips between those two rooms basically yeah switch is so it's actually fine that you do switch it first. Daniel Medina, 2600 says, congratulations, very good game. Yes, it's yeah. very enjoyable. It's like light adventure, light RPG. Yeah. Right? It's fairly linear, not too much backtracking. You do need to make a map, or at least I need to make a map. Mm. Another door. No, not going to write it down. Yeah, again. <laughs> you're complaining about not getting things written down. No, because you're moving too fast. Like I said, cartographers get no respect. Yay. Got it. Get in there. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's the end. That's the end. Okay, Is it the so right there's, number? No, there's definitely a room. Like, if you look at this, I'm missing oh, a room there. Okay. But that's okay. We'll that's, backtrack. Um, uh, okay, ready? Yeah. It is blue. Oh, where purple. was this? So you have now jumped to... Where the heck was that? It's like one of the last ones. It's yeah, the it's last like door. That. Did you go through the last door? Oh, maybe I did. Yeah, possibly. Want me to go look? I'll yeah, go, go look. Can you go to the right? Because that looks like the last door. Yeah, it does. Oh, nope. I can't go to the right. So that's not it. Is it purple then? I'd say purple. No, it's more purple. I have purple and there's blue. Oh, some ambiguous <sighs> blue purple. Blue slash purple. I'll call it indigo and we'll, okay. we'll call it a wash. <laughs> so I what I really need is So I can't go to the right, which ma maps right correctly, right? Yes. You hacked the game. I hacked the game. <laughs> I don't know what that's in reference to. Still only have two keys. Well, I think there's four keys. And I've only rescued one person. And we're on the fourth level. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yay. Oh, I'm full. Doing pretty well. I would up the difficulty in this. You think? Yeah, because I'm full. Like oh, you mean full. for the <coughs> the enemies? The enemies like make them a slight bit faster, maybe. Mm. Maybe it gets harder later on, but you got this room. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, eventually you do fight the double. True. So maybe I want all my health and all my lives for that. I shouldn't open those. I'm full health. Okay, got that one. Another one. Same room. Nope. Another same exact room. Looks That's the same. That's what I mean. Same room. Yeah. Looks the same. Same layout. Same layout. Oh. It's a brown door. Dinosaur head. Did you get a brown key? I don't know. We'll find out. I think you did. Nope. Nope. Is there a brown key somewhere that was inaccessible? White key. 
Black here? key? I said black, but it put, could be brown. Put black key, so we know it's not a black door. Well, there's a little key there, so that's fine. And there's also a door. Yeah. Got that one? Brown door? Mm -hmm. Okay. And also these pits? Maybe could be faster? Just a touch faster? I don't know. It I depends don't know. on... It, it depends how well you've... you've... Depends how hard you want to make the game. Some people want to make it enjoyable and not like super, well, super tough. Part of it is 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 navigating through the maze too, right? Got that like one? Yeah. Yeah. Or you oh. want to make it mazy. That's, uh, that's an open door. Yeah. It's not black. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Because there is a black key. Which I'm guessing should be the end door, because how would you differentiate black door from open doors? Mm -hmm. Um you missed the brown key. It will be harder. Oh, no! This one? That's no, a black key. Well, I don't think it's black. I think that's brown. We haven't gotten it yet. Did we... Not have a... Well, we haven't encountered a way to get the black, brown, brown slash black key. Not that key, I've so... noticed, no. Unless there was a door you didn't go through. Okay, I went to... Oh, my God. What the hell? How do you get that guy? Probably a switch? Yeah. So okay, this, got that? this is on the end, I think. Is it? I don't know. Yep, that is the guy. end. So there has to be a switch somewhere for that guy. Yep. It might be that same switch. I've only encountered one switch. Or the switch might be through this door. Have you been through this door? No. No. So I don't know what color we're going to encounter here. Purple. There's, there's, that's, yeah, so that's up here. That now goes back to purple. I'm going to call that indigo. Excellent. Oh my god. I hate this. Run! Run away! You pretty much have to take damage <clears throat> when you have that situation. You know where you're going? Uh, You've got, well, three, I've got the black three, key. And three to the right. Is that black or brown? Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Because he says, I missed the brown key. But that might be the black key. Well, that might have been the key you just got. Yeah. It's a little hard to tell. Yeah. I do need health, so I will start smashing. Smashing the vases. I like that scimitar guy. He's awesome. Yeah. He's got a really gold nice candle. color. Okay. Shoot. Now we're stuck. I missed the brown key. Dude, it's brown not key. written down anywhere. I didn't notice one. Oh Was my god. Was there a god. door you didn't go through, though? Oh my god. I'm in trouble now. Let's backtrack. Door, door, that door. Goes there to a guy. Is that a guy? Can door. you write down guy? Or... Well, there's a there's I. You can tell by the stick person that it's a guy. Switch. <laughs> um, that goes back to here. That's nothing. Lost power, I'm back. Welcome back. Hello. And this goes... This is just a key. That's the key you just That's a got. a door that goes here. Yeah. So you've been through that door. And that goes been back to here. Been through the orange door. Been through this door. Been through that door. That door. That door. That door. You missed writing down a key. Uh, no. We've been through every door. Unless, well, I mentioned there might be a room I missed here. On purple? Are we in indigo right now? We're in indigo, okay. so purple's back one. Okay, so I'll go to the end. We have to backtrack. All right, the D-train. Have a good night. Good luck with your studying. Yeah, have a good night. See you on Friday. Mm -hmm. I do need that. So you're in, is this purple or indigo? You're still in indigo. indigo. I would maybe suggest changing the color to something a bit more different, like red or... I like it. I don't it's know. It's subtle. <laughs> it's very subtle. It does make it a challenge to differentiate, differentiate the colors. Need a bit more health. No, not skulls. Health. That's the end, so... Now you're in purple. So, keep backtracking. 
So I missed a room here somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. And it might be the one that was not written down. So what level was that? Purple. Okay. Yeah. So on this level. Well, that was not good. So what is clicking over here? The heater. Oh, it's the heater because we have the window open and the heat up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're the one with the heat up, so. <laughs> I'm gonna shut the window. There's the switch. I should throw it just in case, I think. Well, then you can't get back across. But... Oh, never mind. I'll leave it. Yeah. Leave it for now. I, st I do see the guy stuttering once in a while. I'll go back and forth. It's usually when there's something else on the screen, though, isn't it? Oh, it, yeah. Oh, there it is. Mm. It's not a big deal. He's st I don't even notice it. Just watch him very carefully. There. Oh, yeah. Slight stutter. Hmm. But it's very, very seldom, and I don't know why or what. Because it doesn't seem to be the lightning, I don't think. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, enough of the walking back and forth. Yeah. You get the idea. Some of you can check out. Okay, mm -hmm. you got this one. Mm -hmm. You got this one. Yeah. That may be why we missed it. If there was a door and you didn't map it and map this one. Yep. Got this one. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That was the black key. Which we have now. Mm-hmm. Interact with everything. Like, what? It's not much of. Oh. Well, there's windows. I guess there's. I should destroy every single pot? Yeah, just in case. Yeah, you did. Trying you shoot didn't pits? destroy all the pots. Ah. Almost went down the pit. Careful. The pots. Hmm. Okay. Can you interact Hopefully with I the didn't windows? Miss... Hopefully I didn't miss it. While well, backtracking already. The pentagram. Uh... No, don't do that. You're dying. Well, you said the pentagram. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to interact. Like the windows, like I have to look at them, mm -hmm. touch them, press the button on them. You didn't go all the way. I know, because he said interact with everything. Well, I'll go back. We're still missing through. a room, so. Oh, okay. There you go. You do need oh, some help, though. Felt a bit. Yeah, don't do that. That dude is fast. That dude's slow. Spiky. the collarbones. You got this one? Yes. You turn back after this one, so. <laughs> it's probably the room. So there's the white door. That's where you came in. Right. Weird. Ah! Ah! No, that's the end. Weird. I feel like there's a room missing there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe that's the issue? That there is a room that we should be missing? Like, maybe right at the end? Maybe. Maybe the switch makes opens another room? No, it doesn't make any sense because you can't cross without the switch. We're stuck. Well, keep going. I'm back go to back. the right. Not through the white door? Ah! Oh my god. He killed you. But I killed him. Just so, keep going. Keep going to the right. To the right? Yeah. Okay. No, I don't need it. That, the fact that we're missing a room on this level makes me think that's, it's on this level. <sighs> that's kind of a hint. Mm. Yawning. It's a long day. <laughs> <laughs> True. Hmm. 
interact with the switch some more. As long as I leave it to the left. Well, leave it. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Break the switch. <laughs> it breaks off. Oh, it falls vases, on the ground. Oh, vases. Vases. So you have to interact oh, with all no. the vases. Because you kept skipping them. Right, because I didn't need any help. Yeah. Okay. So, this is... I've got three one. keys now, so I'm only missing one? Or did I accidentally get Brown. it? Because I can see other people doing that. Like, oh, I don't need health. I'm not going to break the vases because there's enemies in them sometimes. Is there one more room after this? Let me check. That might be... <gasps> uh. Nope. No. That's hmm. weird. Okay, well, we'll keep pressing forward and then go back again. Hey, Miss Command. Hey, Miss Command. Welcome back. I don't think she was here last time. Last show, you mean? Yeah. So, but that was at a different time. Mm. So that makes sense. We have different crowds on 12 o'clock than we do at 6 p.m. That is true. And different crowds on Tuesdays rather than Fridays at 6 p.m. Nope. Nothing there. Empty rooms are suspicious. Mm -hmm. No! Through. Nothing. I'm gonna be sorely. It's gonna be a, va a vase in one room, and you chose not to do it because you didn't want the health. Yeah, well, I didn't ah, want the enemy. Get all of them. Ah. You want to fight the enemy. That's true. It's, it's this key I need, right? Mm -hmm. Brown key. Could it be in this vase? Under the doorstep? Under the doormat? <laughs> no, we still can't go through, right? No. They need that! Actually, I didn't need that. Should have got it after. Yeah, silliness. <gasps> Don't die! There we go. Nope. So the joystick makes misbehaves. Like, I press it in the slightly wrong uh, yeah. direction and, like, goes yeah. off. Mm hmm. I can't see the brown key being on the level with the brown door. Can you? Maybe. So weird. I think I have an extra room in the brown room. One, two, three, four, oh, five, no. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so it's something weird. So, so they, it's not the purple not be... level, it's the brown one that I have an extra room in. So I can't get this. I think that's guy. my issue. You have to go through. I don't know. Can I walk here? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, thanks for resubscribing, Miss Command. Yay! Four months. Well, it's good to be back. Um, You've, you, it's a vase, obviously, you didn't hit. But I've done all this level, and You all didn't last do all level. purple. You didn't get every no. vase, and, you know. So I still think you're missing... Should I go through this? Sure. Where does this go? To the black key, but that's okay. Only, only the black key? Yeah. Oh, forget it. Still do it if you want. No. Yay! We need that. We need an extra life now. You have all the vases to check, not only in that room. Not only in that room. Every every vase you have every to check vase. as you go through. Every vase. Now oh, you're getting all the... <laughs> it's good. It's funny how that is. Ah! <laughs> so you did 
skip over vases in rooms, but I thought it was just when you were backtracking. But no, I don't no. think that's... I must have skipped it somewhere. Yeah. Well, we'll keep going back because it's the last key. Yeah, well, you need that Cause, key. Because I only have that last guy to get. And then the final... And then the final door. Boss. Whatever it is. This one? Yeah. That guy moves fast. And it's to the left, correct? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, random. That's good. Thank you. Needed you needed that. And I needed that. Oh, luck is changing now. <laughs> I really needed that. Because I think, like, that's not lives in reserve. That's no, lives. No, that's total. Yeah, total. so you were down to your last one. Yeah. It's nice to have a little bit of a buffer. Nope, no brown key. Is there auto fire? Not that I've seen. Nope. <laughs> the key is not random, so you basically have to get have a to vase in a very specific room. We'll make note of it when we find it. <laughs> ah! I ran away. Die scimitar. He's got a cute little mouth. Yeah. Little eyes. I think he's pretty awesome. <laughs> I won't be able to top of it, so I know. He reminds me of like an angry flame or something. I don't know what it is, but I, I like him. Re oh my god. My feet. I slipped. You're tripping over your rope. Ah! ah! Be super careful now. <laughs> Give me another heart. Another heart, please. Is this the last room? Or is there uh, yeah. one more? On this level. Okay. Nope. And then I go to the right. Nope. Nope. Is there something to the pentagram or no? He says his bosses. Nope. An enemy present. It's just not right. Booby trapped faces. Ugh. They're just hiding out in there. I mean, I did disturb them. I don't blame them for attacking me. Mm. Like, I'm destroying their house. Okay. They're. Peacefully sleeping in their vase, which randomly appears, <laughs> and I smash it. And they're like super angry, so I don't blame them. Nope. Nope. Oh, an enemy present. It's just not right. And it actually, it's, that's um, not true. That's a present now with horns. No, it's like a knight. If you think of the knights who say knee, but it does kind of look like a floating present. <laughs> a floating present, like a, tied with a ribbon. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> yeah. Mark that Woo! down. Which room was this? We're in the brown. brown. Is it? That one. I think. Oh, I'll go goodness. to the right, just to make sure. Yes. Yay! Four keys. Yep, yep. yep, it is. Okay, now we go back. At least it wasn't Oof. abysmally long. It was it was badly well, long. Well, bad but... enough. Now there's a... Do you mean the helmet? Yeah, it's the knight's helmet, but... Um... Anyway, it's funny. So the one time I didn't smash the vase... Yep. 
I knew I knew that was a problem. I was like, yeah. oh, you should be smashing all of all the, all the vases, because I thought you were just doing it in the rooms you'd been in before. Oh. But you weren't. You were going forward and not smashing them. It's because it's just to make it faster and oh, I understand less that, enemies. But... If you go through clever. the room for the first time, you really should be hitting yes. them. So. But it's a very clever ah, thing to do. The blood. The dripping blood. I love that effect. It it's looks so good. So awesome. It's so the good. The visuals and mood of this game. Oh, they're great. It is so good. Yeah. Yeah, pretty fun. Yeah, should still smash them in case you get an extra life. Exactly. Oh, true. Yeah, there's a wow. lot of advantages to doing that. So. I do need an extra life. Since you're That's going through a part now that um, you don't need me to map. Oh, you're leaving I'm, me? I'm just getting another drink, so I'll be right I do back. need you to, like, navigate. Do, am I supposed to go through the orange door or okay, go, go all uh, the way? To... Yes. Uh, so you're going to take the orange door. That, or, so you're in brown, yep. so don't go through the orange door. Go okay. one more over. That's white. That gets you to the purple. Okay. And then you go to the end of the purple, and then that gets you to, to the, the right. indigo. Yeah. The farthest right you can. So. Okay, and then go to the far left, I guess. Yes. My navigation has left. I need an extra life. I've got all four keys and I need just one more guy. And then what I dread is that I have to backtrack through the whole thing to go back to that first encountered black door, which is quite possible. Which is almost definitely what's going to happen. Can I get a heart, please? Just a heart would be nice. An enemy present is a cool idea. Like a floating present with eyes? That would be very funny. That is definitely a VHZC type of enemy. Especially for a uh, roach in space. That would be totally not out of place in that game. So when shooting a vase, it's always good to hammer on the fire button because you never know when an enemy is going to come out. And you can't shoot, accidentally shoot, like the um, a heart or a power-up, which is good. So you can't accidentally get rid of one of those. I'm just going to go through this door. And then I go all the way to the left. Oh, not before killing everyone. Heart, please. Heart, please. How's it going? Well, it's not game over. Oh, oh, still got be. a life. Still got a life. No, it is the only life I You're have. You're in the indigo? Yeah. And hearts are very rarely given out. Yeah, hard to come by. BH said, see, an enemy present is a cool idea. Maybe <laughs> yes. add it to one of my games. And just call it a an enemy present. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like the pun, right? Yeah. It's like a pair of socks in a... In a, in a... <laughs> like, damn you, enemy present. <laughs> Tube socks. Tube socks. <laughs> socks again. <laughs> yeah. You can make a, a Christmas game. Yeah. And you unwrap presents. Oh, unwrap presents, and they there's be... the brown door. Yep. So we should go through that because yeah, I can't cause get I think that you've, guy. Yeah, you've gone through. So where does the brown door? The black area. Oh, the black. Brand new. Oh, that's some fast blood. Heart, please. No. So, so left or right? Uh, either. Brown yeah. is in the middle, so. Going right then, because okay. I'm on the right side. I think we are nearing the end. That is the hope. Although on one of the levels there is a black door. But, um... ah. Ah. ah! Don't get killed! You don't have enough lives! No, I don't. I need a heart! Hearts. Oh, finally. 
Sorry, I'm going fast. It's a heart. No, 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 it's not. It's not a heart every time. I'm sure. No, I wouldn't. No, I don't know. You don't know that. No, I'm almost 100 <laughs> percent certain. I would load up, and that would be not a good thing for the game to have. I mean, it'd be nice, but not good for. Oh, there's a dude. Another dude. He's trapped. He needs a switch. So there was a trap dude before, right? Yeah, on the the other level. You have it written down, right? The yep. trapped guy? Yeah. That's the end. That's so the end. So I should have gone left, obviously. How do you get these trap dudes? Do you get like there magic flying potion or Yeah, there must be a a switch somewhere? Flying shoes or Nice. I don't know. <laughs> something. Walk, Thank you, Miss Command. Walk over pit. <laughs> heart oh, somebody put hearts. Thank you, RC seventy. Nice out outfit. Oh yes. I do like that outfit too. Thank you. Yay! Well, I shouldn't get that right away. So silly. Not that it mattered too much. This is, we're back. Yeah, we're backtracking, right? Yeah. yeah. Still. Does the blood hurt you? Yes. Very slowly, but it does hurt you. So you don't want to, you don't really want to step mm -hmm. in it. There's lots of health. That's good. Yeah. So oh, there, ah, you want ah, ah, ah. to kind of get out of the way. Yeah, get out of the way. It hurts you as much as, well, the enemies hurt you a bit faster, but. So now we're back. So now this is a new room. Okay. All right. Trident. Trident room. Stay far away from the pits. Yeah. The joystick may act up and throw you into there. Don't oh. let it throw you into the pit. Oh, the oh, switch. The switch. Of course. Woo! Hopefully that'll open it up for both guys. Yeah, I don't know the other guy. Yeah. I thought you only had to rescue four guys. That's weird. How many guys? You've only rescued like two. It says three. Three? Three plus Isabella? Oh. No, what is three left, isn't it? No, because the keys are counting up. You got two guys. You have two guys and Isabel. Uh, Isabel? Isabel? Work down the switch. Ha! Ah. Got that one? Mm hmm. Yay! Yay, you got a guy! That's a lot of guys. What? He's in the blood, though. How do you oh, get him without just getting... quickly touch, touch him. Oh, Good that's job. how many left. That's how many left. That's yeah. what I said. Okay. You have three left. So that was the, the guy. And now you go back across, and hopefully the switch now means you can get across to the other guy. I... It must be. But there was a final guy here in the indigo go you couldn't get. Right? Somewhere. Yeah, in the indigo, you couldn't get. So I guess the question is, how do you get that? Hopefully the switch does something there, too. Maybe. We missed something else again. Hopefully not. It's nice there's always a path above the blood. Yes, yeah. So you well, don't have to, to hurt yourself. Yeah. Break every vase now. Paranoid. As I should be. Thing. No extra heart there. Uh, lead that them up. guy! He moves fast! Yep. The scimitar's a little slower, but... Uh, Do they all move like... There, there we he is. go. Yeah, so that got you there. So you still have the one guy on the indigo level. So there must have been something to trigger it at that base. Hmm. Yeah, so you're at the end. Okay. So you literally have nowhere else to go Except other back. than back. So you probably want to get back to the brown door. Right. And then figure out how to get this dude. This dude in the corner. Because you didn't get him, I don't think. No. He was blocked. He was just sitting there by himself. Yeah, maybe so maybe the switch, switch has, has switched both of them? Yeah, oh. switched a whole bunch. I have gotten every single base. I'm not getting any more bases. No? Because it'll take too long to backtrack all the way there. Oh, Unless underway. they're in my way. Yeah, that's that's okay. Or it, if I need help or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go 
go through the brown door. There you and go. Then left so, to right. Uh, where are we? Left. No. Yeah, left. And then through this? No. No. Usually not. That door takes you back oh, to look. purple. Oh, it is open. Hooray! So That's you did have to guy. go back. That's the last guy. So what's in your vase? Maybe there's another key. No. So I've rescued so all four guys. The big door was on the blue level. I'm guessing you have to go back and it's open now that you've got the four guys. Well... The, yeah, the big door was on the blue level, so that's right back to the very beginning. Okay, where do I go from here? So you go back through the brown door, so go over one to the right. Brown door or open door? Oh, it's open, sorry. Okay. Or black door, I guess it was. Just door. Was it that one? Oh, sorry, no, I'm wrong. I, I apologize. Oh my god. Oh. You want to go over to the right. Okay. Wait. Yes. All the way to the end. Sorry, I'm getting confused with my mm. doors and arrows here. Mm. Um, it's to the very, very, very right, to the end, that gets you back to the purple level. Okay. Unless there's like some magical warp that we don't know this about. This one? Yeah. Um, nope. The very, very right. So okay. the far, far, far right. Big door, big door, big money. Oh no, the switch? Do you have to hit the switch back? Oh my god. <laughs> it's just through the brown door though. It's okay. not that far. <laughs> so so go through the brown door. Yep. Right? And uh to the left. Okay. Two. It's not that far. Yeah. Are all these switches mapped out of what they do? Uh, or no. no, but it's okay. pretty easy to figure out. There aren't that many switches. There's, there's only been two. Okay. So this one affects the, the black level. So I'm going to say black and indigo. And then the other one just affects the purple by the looks of things. Not a comprehensive map. It is comprehensive. <laughs> does not say what all switches don't, don't do. Don't say that. It okay. is comprehensive. Here. Go through here? Yeah. And then? Uh, to the far right. Far right. Yeah, which you could... Ah, ah, ah. The big door has windows. Far right. Big door. Oh, yeah, that's true. It does have little windows. The map is very simple. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not that bad. It's, it's not, not that huge. bad. It actually makes it's not sense. Small. It makes sense. Yeah. I've it's had to wrap it around because of how I've drawn it, but uh, it, it's really not that hard. Oh my god. That was a mistake. I need some health now. I will be smashing open vases. The bosses always appear on the opposite side of where you are. It appears to be always going the direction you're heading, I think. Like the opposite direction you came from? Yeah. yeah. So this one, this is, is this the end? You're the one with the map. Yeah, it is. So go through this? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Yeah. So you're back at purple, now you have to go to the far left. No! The ghosts are so fast. The ghosts and the skulls. The scullies. Mm -hmm, scullies. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's a oh, little bit better. Don't hit the switch. You do no. not need to. Yeah. Do, do, do. 
Fast goes. No! You're going to the very far left. Okay. Yeah. I need to check that. Leo hasn't said anything otherwise. <laughs> so I guess we're doing the right thing by going back to the big door. Or you could just let us go all the way back and go, oh, by the way, you, you missed you, a key. You, miss, you missed a, a no. And it's all the way back in the black uh, yeah, exactly. map area. And so 20 minutes later, we'll go through. <laughs> we'll be like... I'll leave that exercise to somebody else. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so door? this is the white, yep. And then right? So the right, yep. Just right one. Oh my god. <gasps> so oh. annoying. I need health. I was trying to go for the health, but I accidentally went Run through, through the, the door. door. The door. Yeah, it's on the opposite side you are. So you're going through this orange door. Okay. And then? And then uh, to the right. Not like it's panic. I have to kill these guys first. It's nice when you encounter a door, you can just go through it. Don't have to wait. I need some health. Just a little bit of health, please. No! Skulls are not health. <laughs> they are the opposite of health. They are hurt. Okay. And what? Nothing. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. To the right. Okay. To the far end. I thought might as well finish this game. Well, it's not I think you're close. Super long. You're close. Oh, a tiny, a tiny refreshing little, little sip, sip of water. Oh, so parched. <laughs> Such an adventure. <laughs> and you get to kill the devil. Oh boy. I only have two lives and not enough health. Well, at least you have two lives. What I could do is spam a door for a heart. They still come oh, after you, though. Good? Well, oh, you lost just lost them. them. Ugh. I'm gonna spam this door for help. For... Spam it? Yep. Why? That's a terrible place to go in and out of. It actually is. Because you get, you get caught so easily. Oh, more health. That's good. So, this one? Or no? Uh, yes. Yep. And then you're gonna go to the far, far left. You'll be on the blue level. And you're gonna go... There. there we go. See? Spam it. <gasps> Naughty. Oh, you That's got not full. injured. You got injured. Yeah, but but I gained a ton. <gasps> and I'd like a heart, so I think... You're going to keep trying? I don't think you get a heart, do you? It was random one time. It was just appeared. Oh. I don't think no, I can go I don't anymore. think you can get a heart. No? No, I don't think you can. The heart one just, is just there. Appeared. One time. It yeah, might... I don't think it was random. I think... Oh, we'll see. It's always in the blue room, interestingly. I don't think it's that random. Trying to scam the game. It's allowed. Because <laughs> it's part of it. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yeah. I don't think it's going to come. Okay, uh, which way? Left or right? Left. Is this the right uh, level? Mm -hmm. Are we in the last level? It is, yep. Oh, the big good. door is at the very end.
floating present. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the present. No? No. Oh, I do. Looks like it has a ribbon on it. The cross is the ribbon? Yeah. And it's sitting on a plate? Or what? It's like a bow. Okay. But the red thing in the bottom. Yeah, on a plate, sure. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. That's a good timing. That's really good timing. Yeah. It's very seldom you get those hearts. It's, yeah. it's a, the right amount, that's for sure. So I take it back about the hardness. <laughs> it's still challenging. It gets more challenging. Almost there. Almost there. Been playing it for a while, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking. Gotta get to the other games. <laughs> Well, it's just such a shame to, to like go, nah, I'm this, done. This close. When yeah, no, that, no, no. We're almost there. When you're that close to We're finishing. basically one more over. do need a touch of health. But... Uh, you're doing okay. There you go. Oh, it's open. So it just automatically opens. Oh, it opens, yeah. There we go. I'm guessing this is the final boss or it could be the end. Yep, oh. that's the devil. Kill the devil. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Don't let him get at you. <laughs> ah! Run! Oh, I think I'm just gonna spam up. That's what you have to do. Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh, there she Yay! is! What's her name? Isabella? Do, 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 do. Isabella Lorraine! Nice! The end! Yay! Yay! That was awesome! Excellent, excellent game. Excellent. So good. So thank you, Leonardo uh, Santiago, for sending that to yes, us and yes. letting us have the exclusive yes. premiere of your incredible Can game. You see it? No, it's very oh. overblown. Oh. No, not really. No. <laughs> that's okay. There. Oh, oh, that's... Oh, oh, oh. And it's fuzzy. When very it's fuzzy. That's okay. Oh, I know. You can hold it up to the webcam. Oh. Closer. Yay. Closer. It auto focuses. Yay. <laughs> Finally I have the webcam there to do go. that with. Excellent. Yeah, the 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 graphics are fun. Yeah. Amazing. The blood. They look good. The, the feel, the music, everything has a really nice feel to it. Yeah. It's everything's great about it. It's it's still it's a light RPG, light, light adventure. Yeah. Game mm -hmm. with a bit of mapping, unless you're great at memorizing things. Mm. Um, it's not too bad of a map. Mm. So I could see somebody who's really good at, you know, maze games, memorizing, oh, I have to go to. It's not too bad. How many no, it's not too bad. Levels are there six? Six levels times 10 rooms ish. Yeah. 60 rooms. That's it's a pretty lot of rooms. extensive. That is pretty extensive, yeah. And there's quite a good variety of different looks to the rooms. Mm like um probably 10 or so mm. 10 to 12 different ones there's the blood splatter uh the pentagram there was, there's, there's the an trident. island there's an island yeah and uh yeah there's the angled one yeah um there's there was the, the infinity skull. symbol and i don't know what that's called with like the triple I've seen cross that before, yeah. yeah i've seen that before there's the skull Yep, the skull, the the pentagram, the the yeah, the splatter, splatter blood. Yeah, yeah, so quite a bit. Dragon in blood. Uh, yes, yes. yeah. Esmeralda says, "I'll buy this one." Becomes available. Yes, yes. It is a very, very good fun. Halloween game. Since Excellent. we completed it, we won't be playing it on Halloween. Yeah. Because I was thinking, if we didn't get it done, we would revisit it on the Halloween yeah. special on the thirtieth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, I like the boss in a twenty six hundred game. Yeah, not too many bosses. Yeah. But the next one we're playing does have bosses oh excellent a roach in space two cosmic bugaloo nice um 2020 work in progress by vladimir zuniga vhz's c um so let's get that up it should still be going yes it is and let me get the correct Graphics for that. Where is it? 
Hearts, game two. The end. Oh, wrong one. That is the end, but... Game over. So this is Roach in Space 2. We're going to be playing it through the emulator. I have a heavy joystick. Um, so this is first posted October 15th, 2020. This is build is from yesterday. Mm. October 19th. It's a 48k game. Other games via VHZC. A Roach in Space, which is the original on the 2600. Mm -hmm. This is the sequel, A Roach in Space 2, Cosmic Bugaloo. It's made Kananica. Canon. Canon. Canonica? I don't know. It's like Canon. Ica, Canon Canonica? But it, then it's pronounced Canonica. Canonica. Uh, Do Re Mi, Draco, I Ran, which is on 2600 and 8 bit. Nice. Night Guy in Low Res World, oh, Castle Days, yes. which is on 2600 and 7800. Nice. Low Res Racer, Ninjish Guy, mm. and Peril. So mm. tons. He's tons very prolific. Games. Yeah. These are all like in the past two years, I think, too. All these games. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. This is available in the Atari Age forums. <laughs> Sorry about everyone's ears. Um, <laughs> that's from the music from before. Uh, this uh, version of A Roach is in really early stage of development, VHZC says. So there are a lot, not a lot of content yet, but the, the engine, engine is basically, basically complete. Cool. I thought it was um, enough to show to off show. now. Yeah. Because there's a number of waves. Okay. And they're hard enough that it's like you won't win it on the, you won't get through them all on the okay. first go. And that's a good, that's a good sign. It's good. In, it's it's got all the parts there. So it's a shooter. Start your shooting. There you go. And you can move up, down, left, right. So don't get hit. You do get... Um, it's not one... As soon as you get hit, you die. You get like five hit points, then you die. Um, so, I would be playing it on my 7800. But, <laughs> there are two things preventing me from doing that. Um, uh, one is which I don't have an SD card cart for my 7800 because they're very, very rare at the moment, but they will be not rare soon. And also, I want to get it uh, modded. Oh my goodness, this is not going well. No. My poor Rochi. Oh. <laughs> so you can continue. And you see he changes graphics when you continue. Ooh. I like the, um, ah, I would move so up the hard. screen. It's, it's hard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not moving back and forth. I find this, this controller a little on the slow side. It's, or is it, is it the control? It's the lag between the emulator and the screen and the USB input or something is, like it's, it's, it introduces a lot of lag, unfortunately. So we just have to deal with it. This level is kind of a, a break. <laughs> Get a little break on this level with the sunglasses. Cool, dude. <laughs> oh, it's quite, it's quite frantic, so isn't there it? There comes the cannons back. Those cannons are in a, a number of his games. Oh, oh do oh. not run into the cannons. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Um... So when he posted it, he says, Hi guys, I wanted to share the first beta work in progress vertical shooter I'm programming. A Roach in Space, Part 2, Cosmic Bugaloo. It's a sequel slash port of a previous game for the Atari 2600. It's your last continue, I believe. Uh, that is available in the Atari Age Store. And in it you play as a roach, trying to stop an invasion of weird stuff from outer space. The first beta contains ten enemy waves, including a boss. And it has some typical functions available of shmups. Continue, power up, a bomb. Oh, it has a bomb! So the second button will be a bomb. I would use it in this guy. Oh. Game over. Oh, Do you want to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Are you still talking? I'm still talking. Okay. Use your smart bomb. There we go. Yeah, is that... That's the, uh, this one? I think it's that one or okay. the top. Okay. But I think it's that one. Um... Gotta appreciate sequel games with unique titles. It wouldn't be so... It would be so trite to call it Aris the Revenge. Roach in Space the Revenge, yes. It is a very heavy joystick. It's really heavy. Yeah. I don't know why it's so heavy. It shouldn't be. There's like a weight in the bottom of it or something. Yeah. 
You have the bomb that clears the screens of enemies with two or less hit points. Oh, so some of them take multiple hits, like the boss. So it kind of takes two hit points away from the boss. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it? Oh, oh well, power. I didn't know that. <laughs> and it refills every 10,000 points. Oh, 1,000 points. Okay, so you don't get it super fast. Ah, these dudes. Yeah, you gotta kind of clear a power. Those guys are those. hurt. Move up the screen a bit on those guys. You have to move around. Oh. Okay, this is, I hate this thing a lot because it is. No, it, it's, it's it's also not comfortable. Like, uh, I want, I want on like, the a up computer date. desk. On the update, uh, this one, beta 0 .0, 0.2. More waves. So more than 10. Not sure how many it does. It doesn't say how many. Uh, faster bullet. Uh, shake screen and sound when hit. So when you get hit, it goes, it shakes the screen, which is good. It uh, indicates when you get hit. So it's very, very obvious. And some cosmetic changes. Yeah. You almost got a second smart bomb. I don't know if you only have one. after ah. these guys, I think. We've got the last ah. hit. Nice graphics, Leo Santi says. I love the way VHC says, uh, VHZC makes uh, his graphics always yes. elegant. Oh, oh they're they great. always look so good. And uh, in the Discord, I think uh, VHZC said he was taking some inspiration from Mega Man uh, characters. Especially on those last guys with the, with the big buggy eyes. Oh, what is that? Oh, I guess you got... Oh, he was ah! running right into them. Oh, oh, you're running right into them. I'm Major. trying not to. I'm trying to hit him. <laughs> Raccoons. Raccoons. <laughs> oh, it says beta 2. Nice. Oh, nice. I do like the roach. I'm not entirely sure what's powering his ascent into the sky, but... Uh... You're gonna find my game something like green. A little bit more. Because you just stay on one corner. Yeah. And... <laughs> you already worked out some strategy. I have. I have. <laughs> yeah. It depends on the level, though. Mm. Mm. Oh. I do like these mean-looking. Uh, they're they're either very apples cute. or tomatoes. I think they're tomatoes. I mean, they're kind of squat, so I see them more as tomatoes than apples. Depends on the level, but most of the levels with creatures that come straight down, yep. you can just sit on the left. And you do not want to be at the bottom for these guys <laughs> because they you want to be kind of up here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they go really sideways when they get near the bottom of the screen, which makes it hard to dodge them. Right about here, I find a nice spot. Because they seem to only come from well, the side, but not really. Anyway, it's just easier to dodge them out. These are easy. They do take two hits, though. So after you hit them, they, they attack you. Oh, I like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how they speed up. <laughs> they become a fast fireball. Yep. I do mad. like their cool cool guy uh, sunglasses, too. <laughs> They're really cool. Yeah. <laughs> And I think you progress levels based on how many guys you hit. Mm. Mm. You can. You should have told me to stay in the stay on the side uh, and shoot them. It's much I wanted easier. everybody to see what a a new player would play like, rather than just say stay in the left. Yeah. And make it really boring. Give me give me all the. Uh, <laughs> uh, this all level the is. This is hard. These guys are hard. They look a little bit, yeah, like raccoons or like owl faces or something. Like yeah. dive I would play 
defensively on this level. Yeah, just avoid. Yeah, just avoid. Just try not to get hit. Like, treat it like a shmup where it's like, you're not really on the offensive, you're more like... Mm. Oh, excellent. You just gotta get ahead of him. Oh, so smart. Oh, gotcha. And I think it loops. I'm oh, so you're sure. back at the beginning? With I the, think uh, so. The rocks? Oh, oh no, 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 that's that, Those are super Mega Man-y. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, especially those spikes. Mm. Oh, damn it. Oh, mm. damn it. Joe Cool Fireballs, yeah. Ah. <laughs> That kind of sounds like it should be a mixed drink. <laughs> Joku Fireball? Yeah. yeah. It does. Fireball and Sprite. Or is it 7-Up? 7-Up was Joku. Joku? Yeah. 7-Up. Uh, seven seven up. Up. Yeah, as it was. So now... Damn it! Damn it! Oh my god, this is a hard level up. So not was... only have you created a game, you've created a mixed drink at the same time, too. So. <laughs> I don't think I've been able to get it past this level. Because they kind of head for you, unless I'm mistaken. Unless I'm just running into them. No, I was just running into them. One more. Oh, these, you actually clear the screen on these ones. Amazing. Okay, I'm just going to use my tactic of staying on the left on this. Because these take a couple of hits. You don't want to be shooting one and then another one, because they will just crush you. And I'm on my last guy, too. Last continue, I believe. Oh, oh God, what is happening here? Oh, nice! Very nice. That is awesome looking. So, pass it just after the bullet comes out or goes in. On that one. Wow. Hang back mm, and then hang back. back. Well, yeah, I think that's true for a lot of the um, projectiles, the cannons. Yes, hang back till they shoot. Until and they shoot them. and go through them, yeah. This is incredible. Oh, this yeah. This is such a good game. Did it just cycle through? Uh, well, we've seen this one, but that doesn't mean it's cycled through. Mm. Oh, it's the tomatoes! I uh, love the tomatoes. I got tomatoes. the power-up and lost it immediately. Oh, that's okay. I haven't used my power-up. Oh, I feel like you've... Oh, there we go. Yeah. It is the top button. They look faster. I think I've looped now. Yeah. Are they faster? I think they're a little faster. They seem faster. These these ones are pretty... pretty rough. And it loops, VH said <laughs> Okay. <says>. Yes. <laughs> VH said C's uh, character design is... Bullet Bill is pissed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is definitely Reminds me of something Robotnik might send after Sonic. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Note to Nintendo, all similarities are completely coincidental. <laughs> they just... They, it's, it's an homage. It's inspiration. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen anything that's, that's directly that mm. looks like it. They're just like inspiration taken from... Or it's just done in the style of, right? Mm. Of the those those games. But excellent, excellent shooter. Mm -hmm. I, and in the style of VHZC, I'm sure he'll be adding hundreds and hundreds of levels and never finish the game. <laughs> Uh, VH said, see, I can say I'm clearly influenced, but I draw myself every sprite. Yeah. It's all your yeah. interpretation, right? Yeah. Oh, Nothing wrong. Now it's time to die. Oh, these guys. These guys are not easy. There's certain, there's definitely some certain levels that are much harder than yeah. the other ones. At least these guys don't come all the way to the mm -hmm. bottom. Oh, 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 got it. Just in time. This guy needs to be harder. Oh, as I say that. Maybe a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he is just the first boss, so maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, be 
these, I think this is the hardest level. Mm -hmm. Or one. It's how erratic they move, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah. Now so, I've got a handle on this level. I'm cause... always impressed with enemies that have kind of this random erratic movement. Ugh. Is that hard to do? No. Nope. With Atari games? Uh, no, you just have a random element in it, and okay. then you change direction, okay. and the direction is a new direction from the one you already moved. Or mm -hmm. continue on. So yeah. you could just say random one through four, Yeah. if you're just going up, down, left, right. Yeah. And one is stay this one's left, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then you have another random for the time interval. Mm. And you have a minimum and a maximum time interval. So you go... And it goes like that mm. or however you want to program mm. it and you just expand from there that's cool so it's not it's not that difficult yeah cool score <laughs> four four twenty yeah four times <laughs> no this is this four, is four, excellent four. excellent uh work as yeah. always um vhzc and i'm i'm always happy to play a vhzc game on the show oh. that is for sure and i can't wait to finally get uh an sd card for uh 7800 so that we can actually play them on a 7800 oh, okay. itself yes. yeah 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 um because i wouldn't be able to play homebrews i'd be able to play well if i bought them i'd be able to play them but not you know work in progress builds and things like that but there's supposed to be one coming out um very 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 soon um a number of them, but one very soon. The cons concerto. Mm, okay. Um, yeah. Kurt yeah. for okay. Um, made by the same person who does the harmony cards. Oh, awesome! Yeah. Good, good, yeah. good, good. Um, so now we're going to switch back to the twenty six hundred for our third game of the night, mm. which is an exclusive uh, build of Don't Go which is by Victor Parada. And, uh, oh, I didn't say what date this build is from, but I believe it is today or yesterday. Um, this is the full version of the game. The demo is in the Atari Age forums. So if uh, anybody wanted to play the limited uh, version of this game, they can download it in the Atari Age forums. Uh, so let's switch back. Oh, here you go. And we're, it is a paddle game. Ready. So if you can load up the game and then I'll switch over to the paddles. And this, I think he described it as like Pong by yourself. <laughs> okay. kind of right okay um you have four paddles on mm -hmm. each of the four walls now which paddle is it uh, there we go want to hold that mm -hmm. it's kind of a elastic springy um so this is actually a port of his own game that he made on the in the Atari 8-bit system. Um, so you can you can go for it on level one. I believe it's a button. Or I hope it's a button. Yep. Um, he says, I like Pong style games. I used to play Video Olympics, Warlords and Breakout on my old 2600. All of them have one thing in common, paddle controllers. Once I thought about a self Pong game where one could play against himself. Yes, I was bored and found somewhat difficult to handle two paddle controllers at the same time. If one paddle controlled both sides of a Pong game instead of left versus right hand, the point should be the number of bounces. Its name could be Self Pong. Oh, man. With that idea in mind, in 2017, I figured out a program in the No Mam's basic 10-liner contest using my 800XL. In the process, uh, another idea came to my mind. What if instead of walls, I also added pads on top of the bottom <laughs> of the screen. Now it could be uh, named Quadrapong or something like that. I immediately noticed a problem. If all pads move clockwise or counterclockwise at the same time, the corners would be the weak points. 
Uh, the simp solution will be simpler. T I'm not doing so good. <laughs> Uh, it's not a very beer friendly game is all oh. I'm going to say. <laughs> Captain Classic says go pong yourself. <laughs> That's a great name. Go pong yourself. Uh, uh, Stay right where you are. The next performance is about to begin. Uh, oh my goodness. Cloud boss. Oh, that'd be a good boss in the next, in the uh, VH said uh, uh, game. It's, it's, it, it's barely moving too. And like my brain. It's not functioning. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's so hard. <laughs> that introduced another degree of difficulty or challenge because it could be like to rub the tummy and pat the head at the same time. Does it, it feel like that? Yeah, because you're controlling them in different directions and uh, on different walls. So it's like my brain suddenly has to shift. Which way am I turning? <laughs> um, in that mini game, the scoring was simple. Just count the number of bounces without missing a ball. In order to add difficulty, the ball randomly changed speed or angle on each bounce. This is this is just the beginner level. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> Trivia, I selected the name Don't Go because it sounds similar to the bounce's sound effects. Tonga, 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 Don't Go, Tonga, Don't Go. <laughs> That's where he got it from. Oh, oh you can't hit missed the edge. it by a pixel. You really have to uh, hit it right on one of right the surface. On it. 20 points. Probably should give you a chance to clap, catch the ball mid paddle. It appears to miss the second it passes the first pixel of the paddle. Oh, is Sorry. it a little bit jittery? No, I'm just, yeah, it's uh, a little, yeah, I'm just, okay, start over again. This is the type of game you shouldn't play drunk. <laughs> oh, no, it's not beer friendly. <laughs> not beer friendly. I'm like one beer in and it's like, ah! <laughs> When I decided to program my first game for the VCS, I thought that it could be easier to port one of my 10-liner minigames instead of creating a new one, because the target would be clear. I chose Don't Go because that I could easily map the players and missiles from the 8 bits to the two players, two missiles, and the ball of the 2600. And I'd learn a lot. In a few days, I had the core of the game working and a lot of available space for a 2K game. So I decided to introduce game variations, just like every old school game for the Atari VCS. Oh, it moved! <laughs> uh, I had it going. I had a good I had a good thing going there for a while. <laughs> uh, many ideas were posted in the Atari Age thread. Some of them were implemented. From a single game idea, I got four different types of bounces, each of them with a bounce back variation, <laughs> giving eight games. A ninth game was introduced, and it is just a change of game mode on every bounce. All that fitted into a 2K ROM. Some other ideas were discarded for this game, such as obstacles in the playfield, which have been cool, because that would require advanced display techniques that would introduce flickering. I like solid objects for this game, and I like it to be a 2K ROM. For your information, the documentation of the original 8-bit game is available at... And there's a link. Um, so his original game from 2017 plays 6th out of 26 entries in the category and so very good job this is a single player game use a paddle controlled and move a set of pads in the borders of the play field try to keep the ball inside the play field using the pads every 10 bounces the ball speeds up a bit and each bounce is different from the previous in extra balls mode you will recover a lost ball after a sequence of 25 continuous bounces what are all these channel points good for? I got 41,000. Holy crap. You can do that with them. You can highlight your message and make it stand out and make me read it because it's in purple. <laughs> um, uh, you score one point on every bounce. You're almost, oh, 25. You should have got an I had, extra. I hit 35 last game. 35. Ah. 30. There's 30. Now it gets really fast, I find. Uh, the game ends when the ball goes out of bounds and there's no more extra balls available. Yeah. Console controls. <sighs> game select and game reset. Press game select to choose a game mode. In the bottom of the screen appears a number of the selected game. 38! 38. 38. You still have one more? No. no. That's it. So let's go and try some different... Are they harder? So you're on the large pads. Okay. I'm on the large pads. I'm like, I was just thinking to myself, I wish they were larger. <laughs> so the you, tiny ones. So you can have one ball. <gasps> the hard difficulty is one ball and one and small pads. Oh my goodness. We won't do that yet. No, 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 yeah? no. You okay. can do that if you want. I mean, Actually, I'll, I'll give you four. Four? You can select between one life and four lives. Oh, 
had four, right? Would mid-screen obstacles called flicker? Couldn't the play field be used? Uh, mid-screen obstacles. Couldn't the play field be used? Same color as the ball. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wonder what he's using. Because I am... No, you could probably have a different color. Let's see. At maximum, there's... In a row... There's the left paddle, the right paddle, and the ball. So that would be, let's say, player one, player two, and the ball. So that's three colors. So yeah, you would have to use uh, yellow for a middle obstacle. Um, or change the color. Oh, hurts my brain. Ooh, change four the color paddles, two hands, one brain. Actually, it's really just one hand. <laughs> yeah, one hand. One, one brain. brain, one adult brain. One very adult brain. <laughs> it's not very adult. One but... ball for plus four extra balls. Okay, does it work like that? Four extra, yeah. I Is it so. extra or... like We had a debate about this. About... And I think it came out to... I think we had a poll, actually. That most games use, as though, use those as lives Extras. in reserve. Yes, I agree. Rather than current life yeah. plus extra. It's like it's like the it doesn't um, make sense. The the men the men waiting to uh, play to join in. Yeah, yeah. to join in. Um, set this switch uh, black and white if you're playing on a black and white TV set. I'll switch it in a second so I don't wreck you, wreck your game. Because we all have black and white TVs still. <laughs> It's funny that he added that in. I like Hardly that. anybody uses the black and white switch for actual black and black white. Black and white, yeah. But, uh... Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Just a little, a little it's janky. Very there you old go. school, yeah. Very old school. But it's kind of a neat option if you yeah, actually cool. want to simulate black and white. Make the ball the same as player zero when the opposite side of player zero paddle changed before coloring the ball. You oh, me I have up to there. reset? Maybe. I didn't have to before, but maybe because you played with the black and Okay, we're going to change the... Um, setting? The settings. Okay. Okay, so there's different types of bounces. Okay. Um, there's simple, which you've been playing. Mm -hmm. There's controlled, which I don't know what it does. We're going to read that. Still not starting. No. Uh, Curveball, mm -hmm. a zigzag run, oh. and bounces back, and crazy. So we're just going to go straight to crazy so we can mm. see see all of the bounces. Mm -hmm. Which is option nine. So it's going to be random what you're going to be getting now. If you can hit it. If I can bounce it once. And I will describe all the different types of bounces. Whoa, 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 <laughs> That's whoa. That's a zigzag. What is going on? Ah. Another zigzag. Uh, ah, ah, my brain. <laughs> uh, uh, it may seem easy, but you have, the, have to have the nerves of steel to predict where the bounce will occur. In this game mode, there's no pattern. Oh, that's oh I can't. Bounces are not in a straight in this game. Watch out. Some of the bounces are wide. Oh, this is not weird. Oh. No pattern for the change of direction. Ouch. Oh, that's a curve. Bounces are not straight in this game. Watch out. Some of the bounces are wide, some are narrow, and there's no similar bounces in the game. Oh. Wow, curvy. Oh my goodness. Never did well with curve balls when I was playing softball, so. That one's just normal. That's a curve. That's normal. That's zigzag. Zigzag is very bizarre. That's kind of normal. That's, that's curved. That's curved. That's curved, too. They all seem to be curved. Not, not all of them. Controlled. The angle of the bounce depends on the section of the pad where the ball hits. Different angles can be identified almost parallel, almost per perpendicular, and something in the middle. Anyway, there's no 100% control of the ball. Oh, that's good. Went right to the corner. Yeah, thank goodness. That one might go to the corner, too. Hard to say. Oh, bye, VHZC. Ah! Thanks for hanging out. Yep. Is that a cat at the door? Might be. No, just opened. Oh. I didn't realize that it restarted. Kitty! No, nope. kitty? No kitties. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Give you a chance to play. You haven't played at all. Yep. My turn. Oh, oh, oh it started! Uh, Silly! Let's restart so I get a fair chance. There we go.
Oh my god, the top one is the hard one. Because it's backwards. <laughs> I'm starting to disagree. This is an amazing drinking game. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> what is this happening? The zigzag is awesome. <laughs> zigzag is weird. What I found is that keep it on the leading edge. So always follow with it on the leading edge. Like, oh my God. The top one is messing me up because it's backwards. The sides I can deal with pretty good, but. Oh boy. I think nine times out of 10, it's gonna be the top I'm gonna miss. It, it, yeah, something about the top it goes opposite to the way you want your brain to turn yep. the paddle. The sides are somehow easier. It's because they're <sighs> up and down. Yeah. Oh. I, I, Maybe it not. Just, the zigzag really gets you too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very fun. It's really smart. It's like a simple twist on Pong that suddenly becomes very complex. <gasps> 32. Oh, nope, 32. So it's got all the variations of, you can set it to just zigzag mm, mm -hmm. or just any of the different types. So I can, like crazy better. I think just not knowing if it's going to yeah. curve or if it's going to do this weird steppy. zigzag <laughs> steppy thing. Ugh. Oof. Then it goes Oof. a little faster. You hit 10. Mm, right. It's pretty cool. I also like the color choice. It feels very late 80s, early 90s to me. <laughs> primary the colors. pink and blue. Oh, every time. It's great. I think he, he wanted to keep it really, really, really simple. He said he wanted to keep it in a 2K, 2K game. So he didn't add too much to it which it doesn't need much. It's got enough going for it that uh, it's it's challenging. You you think it's Pong, but it's you don't know what, what's coming at you. Mm. It's a very slow, steppy one. <laughs> oh! Come on. Off by a pixel. Speaking of, where did these cats go? Oh, I'm going to retrieve the cats. We kicked them out. And then they never come back. Well, yeah. makes sense. I think I'm getting better at 39 now. Oh, 44. My best score. I'll do one more. And then we will move on. Actually, I'll give Tanya another go at it and I'll read out the rest of it. Here is Atari. He was sleeping. I did not grab him while he was sleeping. I said his name and he immediately jumped down and came over. So. Oh, okay. So he was somewhat agreeable. He to was like, oh, hi. His fate. Is he pliable? He's, he's warm. warm and pliable. He's warm and pliable. <laughs> Are you purring? Yeah, he's purring. Oh, he's happy. Now. He's a happy cat. Oh, and we got an Atari symbol. Or Atari. Oh, Atari. Pixel cat. cat. Yeah. And you put a bunch of uh, the Atari and Pixel uh, cats in the uh, icons you have on the in screen. The yeah, in the graphics. Yeah, in the bottom left. Yeah. Thought I'd include them. So they're always on the screen, even if they aren't here in person. That's right. So after this, we'll give a little tour of all the tech mm. in the room. Ah, what did I get? 40 last time? 45? You got pretty, yeah, you did pretty good. Oh my God. The curve, the curveballs really get you when they start going fast. Yeah, I thought it was going in one direction, but it was not. It does feel wrong to have the ball miss before it goes off the screen. 
It does. To handle it does, this, though, the paddles yes. would have to be moved in slightly so that additional graphics don't need to be made as the ball moves off the left-right screen. That was yeah. that was tricky. Yeah, it does feel a bit wrong, but it's it's fine. <laughs> you get you get used to it, oh, and at least it pauses, so you know like. Yeah. Ooh, that was. Definitely starts to get <sighs> fast. Fifty three. Yeah. Okay. Good. You You're want gonna, one more? You got some and more I have reading. A little too? bit of reading. Okay. Where is it? Oh! Oh no! Don't don't scare off the cat. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Here. No, it's okay. No, it's Stay. okay. Stay. Cuddle. Stay. Cuddle. Stay. Cuddle. On, yeah. this, on the pillow. Oh, yeah. he's, he's, oh no. He's got that his mindset. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to read out the different bounces. Simple. The ball bounces with a small random variation on each hit uh, in order to add difficulty. Controlled. The angle of the bounce depends on the section of the pad where the ball is hit. Three different angles can be identified. Almost parallel, almost perpendicular, and something in the middle. Anyway, there's no 100% control of the ball. Curve ball. Bounces are not straight in this game. Watch out. Some of the bounces are wide, some are narrow, and there are no similar bounces in a game. Zigzag run. It may seem easy, but you have to have the nerves of steel to predict where the bounce will occur. In this game mode, there's no pattern for the change of direction. Bounce back. The ball normally bounces in its same direction with bounce with back bounces, the ball sometimes bounces to the side where it came from. Oh, and crazy, the game mode changes on, on every in-bounce. Oh. And so there's nine variations. Um, each of the four, and then you add bounces back to each of the four, and then there's crazy mode where you get oh, I can't do the random of everything. Oh, it always screws me Ooh. up. The top one always yeah. screws me up. I've gotten bit better at the top one, but that is the hardest. You oh, always I always move go the in the wrong way, way at first, right? Yeah. It just goes against your instinct. Oh. No, it's 31. 31. There Not you go. Not great. Not great. Try game seven. Flag game it says. Seven is curveball plus bounces back. So <laughs> and then of course it So this is goes constant curveballs. I believe. Oh. So it's going to go every side. Well, that's quite different. This one will actually get you practiced for switching paddles. Mm. Oh, oh it look, it switched, switched directions on number 10. Interesting. Well, this is kind of a unique mode, that's for sure. So you think it's... Oh, oh, it randomly goes back. Oh, mm, I hate the top. It's good that it's a one to two second delay before starting. It does because you have to hit the reset. So that is very nice. Or it, or it could start with the button. I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to start with hitting the button after the game after the game select though. You should be able to start it with the game with the button. But delays are very nice. Forty. Getting a good score on this one faster now you don't know how wide or shallow it's going to be not yeah or which direction it's going to go oh, oh the top it always kills me <laughs> don't start at the top Sixty-one. Sixty-one. Very fun. Uh, very. Uh, I like unique it. Unique take on very pong. simple. Very and, very simple. And and yet just just really gets your brain tied in a knot when you're when you're flipping directions on the 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 two sides and the um especially yeah. the top. 
Yeah. Something about the top, your brain just doesn't want to translate. It has to flip every time. To, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the it's the variations that make games like this um, bigger than mm. what they seem mm -hmm. to begin with, where you can select, oh, I want to practice on like these, the curveballs. You can just, just practice on curveballs for a long time, mm -hmm. or just the zigzags mm -hmm. and get really good at them. Yeah. And then you can go to the random. Um, so let's do a little tour of uh, my equipment. So we're going to go to web webcam mode. Webcam mode. Nice. And <laughs> check out how this all works. Oops. That's just a webcam cover. So there's many different components. First, this is the camera that films us. Um, it's a uh, 4K Sony camera mm -hmm. with a Canon lens on it. There's Tandy. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> and then the camera goes into a hardware encoder. Actually, I'm going to switch this around so they can hear me a little bit better. Sure. It goes into a uh, video and audio, but there's no audio coming from the camera. Um, a, video, a video encoder, which goes out through USB into a USB hub, which goes into the computer, which is over there. Um, so that's one through input. The next input I'm going to show you is the VCS. Hi, Rita Foote. So the VCS it has multiple different types of outputs. Um, the output I'm using right now is component, which is very Nathan. similar to RGB. Yeah. And was that set up by Nathan Strum? That was by Nathan Strum, yeah. who fixed my Your uh, VCS, VCS very nicely. Yeah. And now it can do either component or RGB. I just happen to have component right now. Mm -hmm. So there's a separate audio output, stereo, stereo audio, and the component. So you can see the three connectors there, which goes into the Frame Meister. So there, there's the cabling, goes into the back. There's a lot of cabling. <laughs> and. Uh, goes into the two stereo and the component input. And from there, it goes out to a splitter right here, an HDMI splitter. One goes off to the television so we can see the Atari. <laughs> and then one goes to another hardware encoder, Elgato HD60S, which is 60 frames per second. The other one's a 60 frames a second as well. And then that goes into the USB, uh, multi-USB, which goes to the computer. Mm. So that's another input. And another input I can't really show you is the webcam. There's a reflection of the webcam. <laughs> Actually, I can show you. There you go. There's Tanya and the reflection. Um, another thing that's coming out of the VCS is on the second port. If we're not playing a two-player game, I have it connected to the Atari Vox right there, which is the Atari Vox uh, version 2, or the Atari Vox Pro, I can't remember what it's called, um, which is the updated one, so it works with some of the newer games. It doesn't uh, go crazy and crash out like on Wizard of War. And that goes into a speaker, which faces us, so we can hear it. But that also goes out into a mixing board. And you can see the little red connectors right there. Hopefully everyone can hear me. Can they hear me? I think so. They're not complaining Yeah, anyway. no one's complaining about hearing. Um, so it goes in the mixing board. 
which goes into the computer over there, mm -hmm. into the audio of the computer, the whole mixing board. And the other audio input is this microphone, which is always just above us. And that goes into the mixing board into port one right here. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Into port one. And that goes obviously mixed with the Atari Vox. You can hear both of us. And that goes into the computer. Audio fine, video crappy. Sorry. <laughs> it is going to be shaky and crappy. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much all the setup. Uh, another thing, you can see this is our view of everything. Yep. That's the... That's the TV we play the games on. Yeah. And we can see the chat. Actually, it's probably still on the game. We can see the chat here as well. There we go. Sorry, damn it. Yeah. Can't probably see that too well, but uh, we can read it just fine. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> James is back using dial up again. Yeah. <laughs> So there's chat, so we can see it on the big screen. But plus, we also have a laptop here yeah, for my, when my laptop is here on the side. For when we don't have that on the big screen, yeah. And we're, um, and we're playing a game, so we can look over for the chat. Yeah. So we read the chat from this this laptop on the side. And then also, I have a little tablet <laughs> as well. <laughs> where I have all my notes for the games and what's all the Twitch subscribers you can mm. see there. Twitch subscribers. And there's the games we're going to be playing for the day. So I get to read that out. It's nice and easy. Why do you lose audio when playing YouTube videos? Show a comparison between the 2600 games and the original games they are porting. Because well, they're oh. two different inputs, really. Um, we shouldn't lose audio. That was one thing. I fixed that now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't yeah, lose audio anymore. Different. That was something different. I because because mm -hmm. you have to add the microphone as a as an input, mm. and there was no uh, microphone. No additional input yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Here's a joystick we use. <laughs> yeah. And the paddles that we just used. And do you want to show all your games up here? No, that's for another day. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a, a room tour. Oh, okay. A room tour one day. Uh, yeah. Um, system by system. Oh, my. Okay, yeah. that's going to take a while. Well, one system each show. Yeah. Something like that. Fair enough. So let's get the cat cam. Get the cat cam back where it's supposed to be. Yeah. So you can see basically your whole setup there on the cat cam. Um, yep, yeah, pretty much all, all the time. So they can see me put cartridges in and reset yeah. and things like that. And the cats occasionally fight on the carpet. So yeah, that works. Yep. Um, so that is the setup. Oh yeah, there's also, um, studio lighting. Very bright lights up there, up there, one for each of us. Mm -hmm. And then one that's pointed at the ceiling for general lighting as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. We're not, we're not doing oh. badly for lighting. There we go. It's a little bit bigger. better. So there's one uh, for the up for the just general lighting for us. And then two that point at us up at the ceiling there. Mm -hmm. One for me. One for Tanya mm -hmm. or whoever. Whoever is sitting in the and There's the Vectri. The Vectri <laughs> <laughs> up in the top there. Uh, yep, they're bright LED lights. Uh, we have the window open, so it gets very warm. Yeah, it, it warms up, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. No. I mean, they are LEDs. They're so very they're good so lights. Yeah. They're very, very good lights. And you've done a lot of filming with them, too. Like, yes. these are the lights you take when you film, so. Yeah. Well, sometimes. Sometimes. The Vectri, yeah. When I'm doing... <laughs> Not so serious stuff. I use these lights. When it's serious stuff, I use proper lights. Yeah. Proper lights for filming. <clears throat> Both Vectri together. Yep, yes. they're happy together there. <laughs> 
Okay, we're going to move on to game number four. The last game on today's show, Shattered Earth. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a 2020 work in progress update. Uh, this was updated on October 12th. Mm-hmm. And the first it was first put out on April 26th, 2020. Uh, this is by Karyu Yojimbo, the other games, A Very Galactopus Christmas, mm-hmm. Miss Galactopus, nice. which is an awesome, fun, fun game. Uh, Death Voyage, Fergal Quest, Atari Box World, um, uh, Shattered Earth, one we're going to be playing, Sky Destroyer, and T-Rex Simulator. Nice. And you can download this one in the Atari Age forums. So let's switch back to the joystick. I think this game is fairly close to being done because there's it. I couldn't find anything too wrong with it. We'll take a look. Take a look at it again. Ready. Dreamcast. Yeah, I do have a Dreamcast. I guess they saw that because it was right. Yeah, it's right at the top. Right there. below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there. He has quite a few systems on that shelf there. So. Yeah, that's yeah. my shelf for showing off, showing off the systems. Mm-hmm. Okay, go for it. Shattered Earth. Yep. <clears throat> uh, Dreamcast is pretty retro. It's it is now. it's a number of years old. I I don't know how many, what but what is going on here? Oh, okay. This is the title screen, right? I think so. Yeah, nothing. Did it not say Shattered Earth on the title screen? I didn't see it. What did? Let's see. Oh. Oh, that just restarts it. It didn't start at all. Is that it? I don't okay. Know. Anyway. Ah! This is not level one. Oh, no, yeah, because I changed the level on it. Oh, did you? Oh. Okay, let's start again. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. At RE Fox Plus. Okay, don't. Ready. Don't Just touch. load it up and don't touch. All right. Yeah, there we go. So this is the title screen. Yeah, this okay. is this is the uh, DVD symbol that's bouncing around. <laughs> yes. So those are the guys you need to rescue. Okay. Um, in the game, and you need to get four of them. I think we've have we played this before. Oh yeah, yeah, we played okay. it. Okay, twi- yeah, I've played twice this. Before. I've played this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we yeah, had 1999 September 9th. Yeah. Wow, Dreamcast. Yeah. So 20 years old. It's retro. It's retro. <laughs> We're all retro now. We're all retro. Let's just let's just admit it. If you're so. over 20, you're retro. Yeah, exactly. And looking at the demographics of the audience, you're definitely retro. I have to ask, because mm. did Erwin turn 30 this year? Did he? I think he might. I don't know. I don't, I don't keep know. track. <laughs> He's close. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm Press just it. saying, if he if he shows up again... Pick uh... level one. Do not pick level okay. three. I don't know why he went up the level. I didn't mean to. Okay. Oh, it did flip there. You see the little screen. Sometimes it does do a little bounce. Um, so, from previous playthroughs, the... Yeah, it's bounced again. It's a 16 by 16 grid. Yes. And it wraps around on both sides. Yeah. So if you've gone down four, you've seen the whole vertical column. Don't keep going down. It's no point. So that's guy number three. And then after you've rescued four guys, you have to search for uh, the ship to get them back. And that could be placed anywhere randomly. So you still mm. want to do the, the search again. And it doesn't show up till you rescue all four guys. You said it's a 16, 4x4 four four grid? 4x4 four four grid, yeah. Is it still a 4x4 four four grid? Yep, it doesn't expand. So I would, and you can, there you go. Do I have to hit it? Yep. There you go. <laughs> like touch it. Yeah, 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 touch it. Not shoot it. Oh, bye, Miss Command. Thanks for tuning in. Yep. If we're in Logan's Run, uh, oh, 21, they, they kill them on Logan's Run? We would all be dead, I guess so. Oh, you can... Shoot them! I always forget about shooting in this game. No, he doesn't shoot very far, does he? Ooh. Oh, you can go into the the debris. Oh. Okay. I was playing this game earlier without shooting. Really? It's, it is very possible. Like, you just go around them. Why wouldn't you shoot? <laughs> what a strange... I don't think you shoot those. Those are big, big blocks of death. There we go. Two. Wait, when did I get one? Oh, thanks, Arena Foot. Don't remember the first. I think you got it right away. Did I? Yeah. Ah! Uh, yeah, it's very sensitive. Brutal. 
because the ship moves super fast. You can wait uh, for him to come out. Actually, you can go off the screen and come back. Uh, he, he bounces around. Go off the screen and come back. No, he bounces around. He resets. There we go. You, oh. you didn't get him. I didn't? No. Go back. Go back. Is he back in that screen? Then? Yeah, they oh. live in the screen. So I, how many do I need? Ah! <laughs> I panicked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just laughing. <laughs> oh, panicky. Oh, you ran out oh, of time. Oh no! Like little the astronauts ends. collected images. Uh, no, they're they're the nice. same. And beautiful, the end. It's very like very noir. Very simple. So you made it to level two. You yeah. might as well start on level two again. Um, so the story is, um, I was on my way back from the Cooper Belt Run when that happened, June twenty seventh, twenty two forty eight, twenty two four fifteen oh, Solar oh, Standard Time. Once he ran into him. One second, the Earth was there. The next, it wasn't. The official story is that the planet was destroyed by hostile Rigelian invaders. Now I'm not saying that's a cover-up. I'm just saying it's mighty convenient that anyone who could prove whether or not there was any Rigelians? Rigelians? Rigel. Yeah, Rigelians. Within three light, light years of here is dead. My name is Dex Nebula. I fly a supply ship. I'm pretty good at it. That's why what's left on EarthGov hired me to search for survivors. Poor bunch of bastards who are, weren't killed instantly are now drifting through the rubble, waiting for their life support suits to crap out. Unless I can find them and get to, the, to a space station before that happens. Your goal in Shattered Earth is to fly your ship through the constantly shifting debris field that used to be Earth. Collect four survivors and get them to the relative safety of the spaceship. Space station before their spacesuits run out of air. The cockpit of your space freighter only has room for one. Yes. So they have to ride in the cargo hold. <laughs> so their air still is running out. There you go. Are we on level three now? Oh, panic. <laughs> panic cat. Um, the space station will be cloaked. There's that always is not a... a friendly space station, by the way. No. That's a... <laughs> and you only have one guy, so it's still cloaked. He has a bit of jump in between some levels. This is not There good. it is. One more to go. No. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, and it's purely time? You don't have um, oh, ships, you, do I do you? not like these shooty guys. Oh, you don't have ships. It just takes away time. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Uh, he stops him. That's not fair. I'm uh, not, how am I not dead? It's based on time. Ah. You're gonna run out of time now. Got a sliver oh, left. Oh. Just run into the debris. <laughs> That's okay. And it's your turn now. Fade. <laughs> Where are you at? At first, the at first the only obstacle. Okay. At first, the only obstacle you encounter will be the debris itself. But in later levels, you'll have to deal with surviving orbital defense satellites that, with the central command system that was on Earth gone, are now enabled to distinguish friend from foe and fire at anything that moves, including you. When you successfully dock with the station, you'll get a bonus Three, and move on to the next level. Four, one, Do you want me to go two, through the controls? Three... Sure. Joystick, move your ship in eight directions, fire button, launch a photon One, missile two. in the direction you're moving or the last direction mo you moved. Select, uh, switch, select levels three, 1, 2, 3 four, before the game starts. Reset four, switch takes you back to the le level select screen. Two, three, Left difficulty B, screens are always random. Left di four, difficulty A, if you leave a screen from the direction you entered, the layout will be the same as oh, it was previously. We need to play that one after, because that because I'm fudging it <laughs> right now. No, you're but uh, right now it must be um, non-random. Uh, I can make a change by going oh, back Oh, you can. And forth. Oh, it is random. Yeah. Um. Which is very easy to. And make then the, the October twelfth, twenty twenty update. Left difficulty switch A. If you leave a screen from the direction you entered it, the previous room will be the same as it was. So if you're trying to go through the rooms in order to avoid a particular obstacle, you can't just leave and come back. <laughs> so that's like A. I'm doing. Ah. Yeah. Up update to the update. I just discovered the game would crash after finishing a level, so here's a fixed version. 
Yeah, it's not great when it crashes after you finish the level. No. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Four. And then yeah. They're nice two. when they're not shooting at you. <laughs> Once they start three. shooting at you, it's pretty rough. Whoa. Oh, we almost got you. One. Oh, done. Oh, oh. What is happening? Why is it flipping out every once in a while? Come on, stop it. Stop there it. There you go. You got four. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Ah! Yeah, I'm going backwards accidentally. One, two, Ooh, almost out of time. Ooh, good job. No, not really. You did pretty well. Good luck on this level. This is not easy. One. Oh. Oh, nice. One more. Oh, my God. One. That's unfair. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Oh, yes, there was a bug I found. I just saw it. Yeah? Yeah. That's rough. I'll show you in a second. After I play my game, actually. Oh, you can pause him. Yeah, but he you can't kill him. Mm. How do you get around him? It's pretty rough. Oh, good job. I've lost track of where I've looked. I'm very good at panicking. <laughs> yes, you are. Which is why I do not play horror games. Yeah, you just freak out. I Turn just freak off. out. I'm like, I can't play this game. <laughs> I just keep freaking out over and over again. Oh, I'm going to run out of time. Oh. Oh, you're looking for guy number four, right? Eh? Yep. Oh, yeah, you're... It's a shame there's not... Um a time catch up like like a, oh, a bonus, bonus like hidden in a couple of places where it was like you you would have a little hourglass that, that, uh, like a ox extra oxygen because it would have to go with the story well yeah you're running out of oxygen. yeah so you get a little bit of a little bit extra if you're lucky you'll you'll Two. stumble upon the screen with a little bit of extra oxygen three oh my god it's four. neat though oh my god what a yeah, lucky he'll break bounce. he'll bounce there you no, go you just go off the screen oh, it starts true. in the middle of it's because you're on random. It's level two, right? Yeah. Level three, because I died on level three. So oh, I starting see. me down on level three. Oh, they get you. That one is hard. It is oh, so hard. Hello. Oh my goodness! Good job. Okay, level four. Is there a level four? You it can't just keeps going. You yeah. can't go to it directly, but oh, I see. You can earn it, right? Yeah. By going for level three. I don't know if anything changes though. So this is random. Do you want me to switch to fixed? After this game. Okay. Oh, lucky. I've got all four now. Doesn't seem anything different. <gasps> oh, didn't time that well. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's level uh, five. Six. Six now. You're on four. Right? Oh yeah, four. So, this so you're on five. Going to five. Yeah. This is level five. Whoa. No, I don't think anything has changed. Oh, you have to move immediately out of his way. No, nothing is. Nothing's changed. Uh, Captain Classic asked, like the little astronaut collected images, are those new? I don't remember them from the last one. They, they're there. They're there. They were there. The little oh, the little in the guys bottom in left. the bottom left. Oh, those! I thought you meant that. No. I think they. No, might be. the little Ataris were there, but the I don't remember. I don't recall. I don't actually, I'd have what to look was. at the old the old something version of it. Something was there because it was keeping track. It might have been yeah, something else. I just yeah, I agree. Fatal Frame, great game, but so scary. Many people didn't complete it. Fatal Frame. Yeah, I haven't heard of that. No. Johnny Ten Speed. The little okay. astronauts have been there since the beginning. Okay. Oh, okay. I I don't. Yeah, I just don't recall. But uh... there's a second one. Ugh. 
I feel Those we need brutal. a day where we get an old black and white tube TV and play Atari games on it, on the black and white setting. Well, I don't have a black and white. I know, I know. My oh. mom, my mom growing up always had we a can tiny, make it black and white. a tiny black and white TV that she Still had. There. Her, her, That's a bug. Oh yeah, in her bedroom. Yep. So she had this old little teeny tiny one Which that switch is it? that she would uh, watch TV on. Oh, yep. Yeah. I like just a cheap, cheap, cheap TV. I first played an Atari Twenty Six Hundred on a black and white television. Mm. Left difficulty switch to A. Okay. Oh. Oh, I don't know what level this is on. This is nope. Just uh, you can just die. So I want to start from level oh. one. Are we not on level one? No, no, because oh. there's ships and blooming blocks. It's yeah, level three, true. so um, just die a couple times until yeah. your oxygen runs out. So we can try it without. Um, Fail frame. You play as a photographer and scare away the ghost spirits by taking pictures of them. Very Japanese horror. I, oh, I think I've heard of that one. That sounds familiar. Yeah, it does playing <laughs> yeah there's no way to reset this game to the title screen oh i just have to lose oh my goodness i should just let scratch can you not hit reset no you can't pick a level you have to die to go back so to you that can screen. continually die you use lose oxygen Do you, quickly. You, you lose it yeah i guess so there we go yeah, the mood yeah, of this is very cool Okay, press the button you want to and pick level one. Nope, you play first. So this one, you can't... It, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't start you it where you were. It restarts exactly where you were. Oh, my God. Where'd the guy go? I don't know. Weird. Maybe he was hiding. You should be able to reset him. Any he changes it, it's style. Yeah. yeah. See that? Blip. Mm -hmm. So there's a bit of a bug there. Oh, yeah, and then I'll show you the thing I found, which is weird. I don't know if it's a bug, but it's something. Okay. You can change your bullet direction hmm. and move it all around the screen. Move your bullet around the screen. Oh, you can? Yeah, it's. I'm sure you're not supposed to, but um, I think it's a bug. Three. So it, it it only changes. It only keeps where you came from and where you are mm. in memory. So if you go one, two, and then back, it'll change. I believe the previous room will be the same as it was. So if you go back and forth, it should be, yeah, the previous. Dad. See, it's hard. Didn't when... find it. And it keeps your ship on the screen. That's that's a bug. Oh, I, I see. In the end, yeah. yeah so. Here, play. I, I need to Sorry. Bye bye. I'll be back <laughs> Let's See if I can get the bug. Yeah, there we go. It's hard to keep it on the screen, but. <laughs> you can see my my shot is like uh... oh accidentally yeah so the two if you go back and forth between the two on this mode it's the same screen but if I go let's see this one is a uh, vertical and to the right if I go up and then back and then back down it changes yeah that makes sense your UFO appears it could fit between some of the asteroid fields. Yes, it can. But you can't go very far. I guess I could go... Oh, my goodness. I wonder. Oh, my God. I got to try that. Because that one you could get through. Oh, here's another one. This one's easier. There we go. Oh, you just... You're likely to die on the next screen, though. Let's see if I can try that again. Uh, this one is the right one. I just move very nah. The chances you're gonna die, but that is a kind of a cool little little uh, feature. I wonder if I go up here. Huh? Oh, oh! Look at that! Ah. 
Oh, oh, it went away. I gotta show Tanya that. So the bugs are the enemy and your UFO stay on the ship and kind of superimpose over the end. You can move your shot. So there's two bugs. Look at that. Look at that crazy shot. Oh, and it wrapped around there. Oh, oh, it's wrapping around. There we go. Yeah, you can see it come out the left-hand side of the screen. So that's a little bug. Oh, that's an easy way to show it. Shoot, shoot left, and then down. Oh, and it goes a little nuts at the bottom, too. Yeah, the one your bullet makes it down to the bottom of the screen. It goes crazy. So, let me show you some things. Okay. Watch my bullet. Oh, cool. So, it's <laughs> bouncing off the asteroids. Yeah, if you hold down... No, yeah. it's not. It, uh. I'm, I'm controlling the movement of it. <laughs> it isn't a bug, it's a feature. Rig Rig Rigelians? Rig Rig it's Rigel, right? Rigelians? Rigelians have what? mastered the quantum bullet direction change. <laughs> Can you shoot the astronaut, someone says? Uh, I don't think so. No? Oh, wait a second. Can you kill them? Oh, those do absorb. Oh, Weird. I don't know. Well, no, that's fine. And I will try and shoot the astronaut. See, your, yeah. your ship stays there. It's kind of cool looking. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I would keep that in. I it like it. I like it. See, oh, that's look holding at that. the button. That is kind of a bug, even like that. It's going through. It's like going you're nuts it. on the left, and it's coming out the right. Well, I was shooting something before, and it was coming out on the other side. Yeah, so, so that's that, a bug. that is a bug. That is something that's shown up there. But uh, I love the look of it. There's something about it that makes it feel like. Oh, there he is. So I'm going to shoot the no. astronauts. No. No, he doesn't. No. He, doesn't. he is not impacted by bullets. Yeah, he's, he's got too a... small. He's he dodges. Just pass he just just. Matrix yeah, exactly. Eat. He's been surviving this long. <laughs> he he knows how to dodge bullets. He does. So another thing that somebody suggested. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you can go through these buildings. Can you go to other. <gasps> oh, you wrap around but there, though. But there is uh, one oh. screen where you can is that a bug? You survive. got an extra dude. So if you die on the screen where there was an astronaut, do you get another one? What? I don't think you got a fourth though. Okay. Die. Okay. Die catch him. Screen? No, catch him first. Okay. Catch him. Now die. Die. On the screen? Yep. Oh, he doesn't reappear because you have four anyway. Oh. Yeah, but oh. but the other one just immediately reappeared. Oh, let's And I try was that. like, whoa, that, that feels like you can, you can cheese it a little. I don't know. Maybe. So nice. this one. So get him and then die on the same screen. And then see if he reappears. Okay. But I think you got it, but you didn't. It didn't go up. No, you didn't reappear. I think that was But the just, last time it did. It's just coincidental. I think it put me on a spot where there was oh, a guy. Maybe. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, but let me show you this. One of these. I it's could... not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> there. <gasps> I killed it. <laughs> <laughs> You reappear in a random room in, in, if you die. So there's a chance you can randomly appear in a room with an astronaut. That makes sense. Um, yes. But, uh, yeah, you, you, you thoroughly enjoy breaking <laughs> things, don't you? It's part of my job. <laughs> I broke the game. You broke the game. <laughs> Let's see if I can consistently do that. <laughs> uh, it was on, like, something like this. Yeah. And then... You have to get to a safe spot where you can go back and forth. Uh, there's a much easier... It's this one that's really easy. Because you don't have to... A safe spot. There. No, you broke it that way? I thought you died on the other side. I don't think so. Mm. I didn't die. I just kind of just glitched out. Hmm. At least I have video record of it. <laughs> yeah. 
and me celebrating. Because <laughs> it's random what screens are on the left and right when you go um, uh, You probably through. need to be on the far right or left off the normal map for the game to game breaking bug to crash. Far off. Yawning. Oh, sorry. It's the beer. So rude. It's the beer. Uh, oh, there's a bit of a path here. You're about to die. Yes, I am. I can just restart. Mm. Should probably make an Easter egg of going down one of those asteroid paths that doesn't look like you should go down. <laughs> like a bonus room or something. Yeah, you could that do that. That would be cool. So hard. <laughs> it's caught on to you. It's like, no, you can't no, do that. No, not anymore. I mean, it's such a... It's random. Random bug. Yeah. That, And people aren't supposed to go in there. <laughs> well... So I don't know if he'll care that, that this even exists. Yeah. Oh, Arena Foot is back. He's eating some pizza. We had pizza tonight, too. We did, too. It's a yum, 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 dinner yum. of champions. Ah! Sometimes it puts you on the same screen. Sometimes it doesn't. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, this one. It's so hard to... Nope. Well, I'll give it a couple more tries, but then... What? What just happened? Hmm? Did it... No. Do something weird? No, I don't think so. Okay. Go down the paths. Yeah. Mm. I thought it flipped screens when it, I was nowhere near the edge. But maybe I was. Oh, you, you ate, ate some, some pizza. pizza. There You're not go. eating some pizza. Where's a nice path? None of these. Or he could just make new block rooms that don't allow you to go. Like that top right one? I can't get in there. I can't. I could get in that one, but it's hard. Well, there's nothing wrong with going through. There we go. You no, see, it's not gonna happen. <sighs> oh, because it's like not Hi. much room there. Come on up, come on up. Yeah, Hi. there's an Atari cat. There's Hi, a big Atari beige cat. bum. Hello. <laughs> yes. Oh, sweetie. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Purr. Purr, purr, purr. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There he is. It's a room. Nope. Oh, there was a nice opening there. That was a nice big room if I didn't go up that time. But you haven't you haven't replicated what happened. So. No. I I, it might have been two very specific rooms being adjacent yep. to each other. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep, dead. Just keeps running into walls. <laughs> running running it's not into doing a very good job playing this game. Asteroids in this asteroid field. Ah, because if I was up, I would have been able to make it there. Mm-hmm. It's debris. Can you get to the far right before trying to go down the wrong asteroid path? Far right. Let's see what they mean. Like the... I don't know. Like, this is the far right. Hmm. Oh, there is no... There's no... There is no right. It, it just wraps. wraps it, it wraps around. It continually wraps, yeah. And is random, too. Mm. Is it so, on random or is it not in random? Uh, the non-random only does the two screens that you're going oh, back and forth. Oh, I see, I see. It, it, there is no set map, even though he could do one. It doesn't take up much space, but maybe just... There we go. There's a nice open. It might have been, been two very specific rooms. Yeah. Oh, no, it's glitching a bit there. He's so fluffy and purry right now. No, I'm probably not going to be able to crash it. It was something specific. He may not even be able to figure it out. Uh, no. Oh, I didn't realize, I realize it wraps. Yeah. Oh, I see. He thought maybe that I was at the... Oh, look at this. I'm like... Up and down? Totally in the maze. Look, I'm in places I'm not supposed to be. <gasps> Watch out, you're gonna die. <laughs> I am, as soon as I go to the next screen, but I don't know where it is. <gasps> nope! Still, still surviving. <gasps> still surviving. 
Oh, oh I did. okay. That's it for that. <laughs> we got a we got a bunch of fun bugs. Yeah. That they can uh, that he can investigate. He can play play with. Yeah. yeah. So that was Shattered Earth, mm -hmm. a very very cool yes atmosphere to it because yeah. it's black and white and the fading. Yep. And it just. Feels the cubes, the patterns of the cubes. I don't know what, mm. I think I've asked you before what kind of style that is. I'm well, sure there's an artistic style that everything's made of bigger and smaller cubes. Not quite like that, but I always Some think scenes. of Mondrian styles, which is like the, the colored, you know, primary colors in blacks and whites. But um, yeah. it's not quite that. But uh, um, Cubist. You know, cubist, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's very cool. Yeah. I like it. And it has a real, like old school game like 60s 70s like yeah. like like early, early early video game feel to it which i kind of like yeah like it should be on some gigantic sparkly green <laughs> stand-up arcade Round, those old rounded round edges yeah, yeah for sure um yeah so the games we played today unholy which mm, we won and wonderful finished. so it's good lots yeah. of fun ideas yeah. there um a Such nice a good game Nice challenge, not too hard of a challenge, but a nice challenge. No, and I think I mean we mapped it. Yeah. But I don't think you need to map it. Not you know, really. It, it, you, it's fairly linear. It, there's a it's, bit of backtracking. There's a but, bit of backtracking, but um, if you hit every vase, we wouldn't have had to do it as all yeah. all of that backtracking, which, yeah. Short, which would shorten the game. Yeah. To yeah. like maybe a forty-five minute game, half hour to forty-five, or yeah. half hour to an hour, depending. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. thank you very much, Dan. Mm -hmm. um, then we played a Roach in Space 2, very early build of it. We made it through oh, fun. all the existing levels. I love playing those games, <laughs> and I love seeing the sprites he comes up with, oh, VH yeah. Z. It's They're just so cool. Yeah. Like, I, everyone I see, I'm like, oh, that's they're, that's they're awesome. fun and colorful and like, kind of bubbly. I would and... get a tattoo of that. That's very cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're very, very cool. And then Don't Go, a very nice spin on Pong. Mm-hmm. Um, self-playing Pong. <laughs> yes, yeah. Where you have to keep it inside and you're controlling four things in four different directions with a paddle. Mm. Always love paddle games. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice input device. It's fairly unique to the Atari. Mm -hmm. um, and then Shattered Earth, which we just played. Mm -hmm. um, another game with a very great style to yes. it. Um, I'm hoping that he adds more levels because it maxes out at level three really level four is the same level mm. five is the same yeah it doesn't increase in speed or difficulty or add any more yeah enemies it's pretty hard though i mean i wouldn't say it's it, easy it is hard oh maybe you get less time yes but, but i didn't seem like i got to level six and it didn't seem to give less time it yeah. kept being about the same yeah so i think less time would be good did you see the company one up card cleaning cart webs a cleaning card website officially released today an atari 2600 cart to clean the inside of the Atari 2600 console. Interesting. Oh, it does get dirty. And I've seen reports in Atari Age where that can be the problem when mm. some carts aren't working. Aren't working. Mm, interesting. That is not bad. $15 for it. It's mm. probably like translates to 25 and then mm. another 25 for shipping to Canada. Mm. <laughs> um, thank you. I want to see that. I will click on that right now and I will take a look at it. Fast and free shipping uh -huh. on U.S. orders. Johnny Ken Speed, I'm working on more levels for Shattered Earth and a special guest star. Very cool. Oh, you're the developer. Yeah. Well, he's, you have he's a different... He's been commenting through through the uh, chat. Have he has you... a different name on here. Well, I figured, <laughs> I, I figured that out pretty quick. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. um, excellent. That's great. Yeah. And a special guest star. Nice. Excellent. Very 70s. I like 80s it a reference. lot. Yeah. It's, it's, such, it's such great atmosphere. Yeah. It's I, I like it. Yeah. Awesome, awesome game. Um, need an acid base to dissolve the copper oxides. Yeah, to properly clean it. To properly. It might be w like one of those um, cartridge cleaning things where it's just like... Like um, brush bristles or something? Or something on bristles? or Not bristles. Like a pad. Like a mm. cleaning cloth, but the right size. Yeah. Or a clean, cleaning pad. Mm, and it just goes down. Um, so great game. Johnny 10 Speed. So we had three of the... Three of the four developers in the chat. Yeah, that is pretty good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and I would thought I would have thought of v, v Toko would have been here as well. He's quite active is, in the forums. Is that the Pong game? That's the Don't Go guy. Yeah. Maybe I missed him. But yeah. Yeah. 
Or he was just Four. Lurking. Four. Four. Is oh. that you, Flackets? <laughs> People with multiple names. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta identify yourself. Yeah. He is Yay! here. Yay! Four Wonderful. to four. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a hundred percent attendance record. That's why Flackets said, "Oh, try level um." Oh, level seven. I thought he was just like really familiar. With yeah, the game. yeah. <laughs> he is really familiar with the game. Yeah, that's the trouble with the with the the different names. names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Vidoko was taken in Switch Twitch. Vitoko, really? Wow. That, I mean, it's very popular, and there's like millions of people. Yeah. On Twitch. So. There are. There really are. You got to yeah. get in early. Yeah. Zero page homebrew wasn't taken, so <laughs> it's very long and very specific. Yeah. Oh, so you add lotion to the cart, and then you insert and remove it several times. Oh, it's a cart. Does it play games too? <laughs> That's really you, cool that so it's. So you an add something cart. to it. Oh, oh I yeah. see. Oh, it just cleans. It is a cleaning kind of foamy. Oh, neat. Foamy thing. Let's oh, actually take neat. a look at it. Show people. Yeah. Fifteen dollars. Um, so there we go. So there's the cart, the One Up cart. Console cleaner compatible with Atari Twenty Six Hundred video game system by One Up cart. Oh, it's on sale Perma <laughs> per permanently. Permanently I'm, I'm guessing. on sale. Yeah. So there's a cart. Fully insert and remove several times. Do not. Use with liquid or store on console. Do not use with liquid. It yeah. says. Game yeah. on. Nice. And then it's got kind of a, a foam, foam pad. It looks like yeah. foam. Yeah. Oh, and it's got its own protector, so it does hide it away. Mm. Um, so retractable mm. um, base there. Mm. Um, there's the full front of it. With a little, Neat. Little, uh, nice little uh, cloud. Cloud there is the end of it. I think it's lots of pictures. And there it is in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> there it is in the back of the bag. Oh. Sold separately. Oh, it's probably just something you could buy. Mm. Do not use with fluid, except the fluid we're giving you. Of that kind of contradicts the, the corrosion is removed by the pink material. Yeah. Do not do not store in console. Yeah. Well, uh, you, you just use it to clean it. You don't keep it in there permanently. That makes sense. Yeah. It would probably erode it. And also, there's pins in there that get pushed apart, even though yeah. I keep the. But if you're my using Harmony some cart, kind of cleaning fluid. If it sits there, it would probably erode oh, it over they've time. They've got it for a bunch of different consoles. Oh, neat. Yeah. So it's probably the same for every single one. Mm. Same concept. Yeah, it's just a wider wider pink foam area. Mm. Nice. Oh, there we go. Mm. Um, just got the email release info today at one thirty p.m. for its release. Brand new. No games. No games. No, it's not. It's not a game on. That's funny. Um, so what's coming up on Zero Page? Uh, next episode, we're going to go for the Rally Racer patch on, okay. Tuesday, on Tuesday at the end of the show. Uh, um, we probably Tuesday got or Friday. Uh, oh, Friday, because today's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Uh, feels like Friday. Feels like Friday. Yes. Um, so on does. Friday, we're going to be going for the Rally Racer patch. Uh, it doesn't look super hard, but we're going to give it our darnest because mm. it's a little takes a while to get to that score. Mm. So if we don't make it the first time, I don't know if I'll do it a second. Oh, geez, yeah. Uh, and then two shows after that is the Halloween Homebrew, homebrew Special. Yay! I've got a full roster of great Halloween-themed nice. games or scary-ish games. Yes. Pumpkin Muncher. We've got an exclusive final release oh, of that. Oh, nice. Okay, good stuff. It's start. a fast food hack. We've got Ghost Manor, which is an original 2600 game, mm -hmm. which I've never played. I'm surprised I missed it on the other Halloween shows. A game called Spiders, which is brand new. It's a Crackpots hack, which Dan Kitchen made of it uh, originally. Crackpots. You're dropping s pumpkins on spiders. Mm. Oh, that's great. Bone Brothers, Marrow Brothers hack. Halloween, a pitfall hack. Nightmare Pinball, a pinball hack. Zombie Invaders, Space Invaders hack. Pumpkinhead, Frankenstein, Frankenstein's Monsters hack, which is already kind of a scary uh, style game to begin with, which mm. we did play on another one. Nightmare, a Mega Mania hack. So lots of lots of hacks to get, to play. Mm. It'll be six p.m. an evening show. Yeah. Nice, some twenty six hundred or yeah. yeah. Um, and then the next big one after that is the developer spotlight on John Shampo, November twenty seventh. Um, we have some other big secret uh, streams that I can't announce yet that are coming up as well. And then we've got a holiday homebrew special 
in December, probably the 25th or maybe earlier, depending on what we're doing and when it's happening. So I haven't planned that one, but late December. I've got Mean Santa, VCS Dreidel, Bite Before Christmas, Cold War, and a couple more games that I don't know yet. And then we are going to be doing our um, the awards. Why aren't they here? Oh, they are there. Um, oh, the reveals. Yes, the reveals, the nominee reveals, and then we'll be Excuse me. <laughs> then we'll be <laughs> playing through all the games that were nominated, mm. which is going to be a nice pack of games, mm. that's for sure. And then the third annual Atari Homebrew Awards is February 6th, almost 100% certain. Okay. 99.999% okay. certain. It's a Saturday. Good. Good. So the Friday before will not be a show um, because I'll be preparing for it. Maybe even the Tuesday before, but we'll see. Um, and uh, Arena Foot has been compiling the ROMs for the nominee committee. Yes, that he's said in there. If any members are in here, might be one. There was some earlier, I think, but they all went to bed. They all went sleepies. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's what we have to look forward to. And thank you for watching. Yay! Captain yeah. Classic, it was Arena a great Foot. Group today, yeah. Metal Lunar 7, Flackets. Uh, uh, Johnny, Johnny Ten Speed. Speed. All of the developers were All here. Developers. That's awesome. Uh, Miss Command. Yes. Who else? Uh, Metal Atari 1969. BH said, another developer. Thank Quahog you. Kohog so 2600 in there, too. Thank you, Kohog 2600. Yep. Dan ABC. I think we said your name. Yep. Cafe Man 2D. Esther Mayor's 2008. Mm hmm. I know yeah. there's more. I know there's more. Leo C. Sandy, another yes. developer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there were. I know there are a couple Unholy. of people who from Chile who piped yes. up right at the beginning. So. Much earlier in the show. Yep. Um, so thank you very much, Dan. Mm -hmm. Good show and games and cats. Did we have both cats on the show? Uh, we did. Yes, they both yeah. showed up. They Atari both made appearances at here, some point. Yeah. And Pixel was here much earlier. Yeah. Looking forward to the horror. So are we. We're going to have mood lighting. We're going to have pumpkins. We're going to have costumes. We have decoration. We're yeah. going to have bugs on the screen all around the edge. Yeah. Um, so thanks for hanging out today with us. Yes. And we will be back on Friday in the evening. Yes. So we will see you then. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye all.